rocking and rolling now. Time to get going for some baseball. Yes, sir. We are live. Hey, guys. How you going? So today on BK Sport, we are back here for some more baseball. And today, obviously, it is the Chicago Cubbies going up against the Colorado Rockies in game number three of four. Now, we are one and one in the series so far. And obviously, as you can see, uh, it's 4-3 for the Cubs at the moment in the record department with the Rockies obviously being in 5-2 and two after yesterday. Yeah, look, obviously yesterday was a frustrating one. We did do pretty well. I actually thought that we were probably the better team. Uh, we had more hits than them. Uh, and our pitching was actually pretty reasonably good, um, but unfortunately, yeah, they did uh, they did do us over in the end, and 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 it is part of the game. Sometimes you're going to lose games that you probably feel that you are better than, better in. Um, I just had to, <laughs> I did have to just change. Um, I was watching on the Colorado broadcast on uh, MLB.tv, and we don't want that. We don't, we, we don't want no Colorado but, uh, <laughs> real cast on, on MLB TV, so I had to change it over there. But guys, let's go and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're around here. We're going to be here all day. As per usual, we've got this game, and then on Big House Sport, we've got the two NRL games. But um, this one's going to be a good one because I have no idea who our pitcher is. I have absolutely no idea who our pitcher is. I think he's a, he's a brand new guy who's probably come up through the system. Um, and uh, he has not had a game so far for the Cubbies. So uh, looking forward to seeing what he can produce. Looking forward to seeing what he can produce because uh, we would love to get this dub here today and not have to rely on a day four um, in Colorado to, to get the the victory there through the series. But let's go through the, the lines here. So, uh, oh, it's disappeared from me. Hello. Oh, no, it's back in now. Beautiful. So, Mark Leader is our pitcher today uh, with Senzatella with a 2.70 ERA, 2.70 ERA for the Rockies. Uh, on the Cubbies batting lineup, our designated hitter, Rafael Ortega. Didn't really... Oh, well, he actually got two hits yesterday. He got two hits yesterday, so he didn't do too bad. Villar has been having a very good uh, series so far. Uh, in my opinion, Wilson Contreras was unbelievable yesterday. Had three, of four, three out of five hits and uh, was really good. Um, yes, obviously, I know in that clutch moment, wasn't able to clutch up, but Contreras is still absolutely phenomenal, and uh, he is our leader right now. He is our guy that we need to rely on. Ian Happ out there in left field. He'll be up in fourth with Frankie Schwindel at first. Sia Suzuki comes back into the lineup today. Obviously, they intentionally walked him on a pinch hit yesterday. Uh, so they are definitely nervous about what he can produce and he can go deep quickly. We all know what he can do. Uh, Jason Hayward in center field. Patrick Wisdom in third on third base and Nico Horner in shortstop. So Wisdom actually started to get a little bit better yesterday. He got a, cu got a couple of hits and uh, before that, he wasn't exactly fantastic. He hadn't been great at all. He was 0.58 through the season so far. Uh, but then yesterday, he got a couple of hits. And um, yeah, you appreciated what he was able to, to get going yesterday. And then Nico Horner, Horner unfortunately, he hasn't really been able to get it going just as yet here in Colorado. But he'll be fine, man. He'll be fine over there in shortstop. For the Colorado Rockies, Connor Joe, Connor, uh, Charlie Blackman, Chris Bryant, CJ Cron, Ryan McMahon, uh, Rogers, Hilliard, Alan Treo, and Dom Nunes. Literally pretty much the exact same team besides their catcher. Uh, they're pretty much going with the exact same team every single day besides their catcher, which is kind of what you want. You kind of you kind of want that, man. Like <laughs> You don't want to be chopping and changing a great deal, um, which is what we've kind of been doing. But in the same sense, we're, we're doing it because we do what we want here, baby. We do what we want here, baby. It's just as simple as that. We do what we want. So, like I said, guys, go hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe in your own And let's get ready to rock and roll. Let's go look at the chat right now and see what you people are ready to go with. Okay, so let's open this up. There we go. Eric Doty says, Cubs are BK. Yeah, Cubs are here. The Cubs are here. And we're ready to rock and roll. Ben James says, Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too, champion. Tommy says, have you drained your anger from last night's stream? Uh, Tommy, advice, bro. I'd probably just move on. If I were you, my guy, I'd probably just move on. Um, I also wasn't even, even angry. I don't even know what you're talking about on the on the Titan stream. I wasn't angry at all. So my advice to you, bro, would be to move on. Um, but no, I didn't get angry at all on last night's stream whatsoever. So I'm not too sure uh, what you're talking about. Uh, get my wife's name out your mouth. Says, uh, hey, Blades. Hello, mate. How you doing? I'm actually super tired today. Tomorrow, we're going to be up at 5 a.m. for this game. There's the game. Game four is at 5 a.m., so, um, geez, uh, that's going to be a hard one for me to get up for. But I will be getting up for it because, obviously, the Bulls play the Bucks in game one of the NBA playoffs as well right after, right after. Um, so it's going to be a big day tomorrow. Um, obviously, the NRL will have been done by tomorrow, so uh, <laughs> the, NRL will, will have been, um, the NRL will have been done by tomorrow. So we'll be able to kick back a little bit afterwards and have a good rest up after, after the game, but... Yeah, uh, 5 a.m. start for all you Aussies tomorrow if you want to get up and watch the Cubbies with me. For all you Americans, it'll be a nice little 1.10 p.m. start game on a Sunday, which is too easy for you, just too easy for you. 
Um, but yeah, look, we have a upcoming series with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, the Pirates, I know everyone continuously will b- believe that they're still the same team from previously. When they're not, they're not the same team from previously at all. Um, they are a team that are, are, are incoming a little bit more. They've got young talent that has come through. Uh, we've been saying this for years now. They are building. They are bringing young talent through. So uh, be careful about writing them off too early. Um, and, and, and this is not the time that you'd be writing off the, the Pirates. They obviously got one win against us, and... Um, uh, they got one win against us. What's it called? And uh, the other one was a bit. How you going? Uh, a bit. How you going? We still got the win there. See, Suzuki actually hit a couple of home runs in that game. Tommy said I was at the game. Wouldn't know what happened on the stream. Okay, that's cool. But obviously, you're very well aware that what you're trying to do right now is come onto an American sporting stream and talk to me about my team losing last night in the NRL. So feel free to wait for the NRL streams, or feel free not just not to be a mupper, dude. Like obviously, this isn't what this isn't rugby league right now, and obviously, you're trying to get at me in regards to my team losing. So it's all good, but like just learn, bro. Like read the room. It's very obvious here, Tommy. It's very obvious. Reese Dumbelow says, Timberwolves beat the Grizzlies and Steven Adams got bullied by Cat. I haven't actually seen any of the NBA playoffs action today. I haven't actually seen any of the NBA playoffs action because I just woke up. Um, I had a big day yesterday, so uh, I'm going to quickly have a look here now before we get underway. John Shamby and Jim Deshaies in the uh, commentary boot tonight, besides BKR Sport, obviously. Uh, tell me the map. But yeah, I just don't understand why you would come onto a BK Sport USA stream and start talking about, like the Titans like I wasn't even angry at all like if anything I was actually happy about it but you just get Muppets who, who want to put you down all the time it's really strange um, so Mavericks and Jazz yeah Jazz won 99-93 Timberwolves 130-117 over the Grizz uh, 76 is a slap in the Raptors right now I think that's a sweep coming up right there I, I really do and then Warriors and Nuggets later on today uh, but yeah tomorrow I may stream Suns Pelicans but probably not I'll probably just do that Bucks Bulls game at 8.30 <clears throat> in the morning for me uh, but yeah, so yesterday, look, I, I thought that Strowman was pretty good for the most part, and then just later on, just later on, he kind of fell apart. Eric Dojic really doesn't like Arietta. <laughs> Jake Arietta is not a big, he's not a big fan of the old Jake Arietta. Used to be good back in the day, but not anymore. Uh, yet last year, he really screwed us gigantically, the old Jake Arietta. Uh, Lucas says, didn't see the game, but Adam's stats look poor. Uh, Adam's is, oh, that's right, Grizzlies and Timberwolves, wow. Okay, I'm only just, that's how early, that's the, like, that's what it is for me right now, guys. I just woke up, so I didn't even realize what cunt, that cunt was saying. Uh, but Steven Adams with a three rebound, three assists and zero point game, wow. Jar Morant still had a good game, but I would love the Timberwolves to get the surprise there. I really would. I'd love the Timberwolves to get the surprise there. Um... Anthony Edwards has an absolute banging game. Carl Anthony Towns a banging game. He needed to after that last game. But yeah, 130 to 117, first game up. And that was would have been in Memphis too, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was in Memphis. Wow. That was in Memphis as well. <clears throat> oh, good. Oh, good. Let's go and show us the Cubs throw combined no-hitter, the, the day that we fell apart. That was, the, that was the day before we went on that huge run of losing games. <laughs> Trucking down under says, Eric, three days in a row you have said that. I take it you don't like the guy. So, Trucking, um, I don't like the guy. <laughs> Jake Arrieta. So, Jake Arrieta used to be a good pitcher for the Cubs back in 2015, 2016. He actually was part of the World Series run. Uh, Jake Arrieta was a great pitcher. We then re-signed him last year, and he made me want to punch myself in the nose. Yes, that's that's how good he was. He was incredibly, incredibly disappointing last year. And I understand why Eric Dojic is not a big fan of the old Jake area. He's not here anymore. Thank God. <laughs> He's not here anymore. Thank God. But I remember when the at the beginning part when I was streaming and uh, I've had people saying, oh, Jake Arrieta's back. How good is this? And I was like, let's just relax. We haven't seen him for a few years now, man. Uh, we have not seen him for a few years. And... I don't believe that we should be uh, getting too excited here. Uh, obviously, there's a reason the Phillies got rid of him, and uh, there was a reason the Phillies got rid of him. Let's go have a look at what's going on in the MLB right now, because this is one of the later games, obviously. Wow, the Sox again beat the Tampa Bay Rays 3-2, exact same scoreline there. Uh, Diamondbacks beat the Mets in New York 3-2. The Blue Jays uh, lost 7-5 to the, the Oakland A's. I really, you know, I have a soft spot for the Oakland A's, man. You know, I, I know I'm a Cubs fan in the NL, but you kind of can have that soft spot for a team in the AL because you don't really play the AL too much. Um, and the Athletics are probably my soft spot team over there. Uh, so they're up, they won 7-5 there over the Blue Jays. 
Padres and Braves, the Braves 5-2. And also the A's have had a tough history, man. <laughs> they, the A's have had a real tough history too. Uh, Braves and Padres 5-2 to the Braves. They do get the win over the Padres today. Uh, Royals and Tigers, Royals 3-1. Uh, they win that game. Yeah, well, yeah, 3-1 over the Tigers in Kansas. Uh, the Boston Red Sox win 4-0 over the Minnesota Twins. Uh, and then the Guardians and Giants right now, bottom of the sixth is 2-2. Marlins and Phillies. Phillies up 8-0. Middle of the fifth over the Marlins. Wowzers. So that's a big wowzers moment right there. Pirates and Nationals 2-2 with the top of the fifth. Orioles and Yankees is 0-0 in the end of the second. Lucas, your Yankees better win today. Lucas! Lucas, your Yankees better win today. I tell ya, Lucas, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't lose to the Orioles again. Rangers, Rangers and Angels. Daz made to be happy. Angels up 3 1 right now, bottom of the third, but still early days. Oh, Ross moves early today. Mark Leader Jr. selected from Iowa, AAA, so that's why I haven't heard of him before. Alfonso Rivas optioned to Iowa. Actually, didn't do too badly yesterday. Uh, Locke St. John selected to 40-man roster, optioned to Iowa, uh, left-handed pitcher, and Greg Deishman, uh outfielder, Corey Abbott, right-hand pi- uh, pitcher, uh, designated for assignment. Well, there you go. So basically, the only thing we did was bring in Mark Leader and take out Alfonso Rivas. But Alfonso Rivas got a hit yesterday, didn't he? I'm pretty certain he did. Uh, and then the Brewers and Cardinals go, oh, no, don't worry, Jasmine, I'm not happy now. They did just um, they did just get a run the Rangers, so it's 3-2 as I'm speaking. It is 3-2 as I'm speaking, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but Brewers and Cardinals is 0-0 at top of the four, so Brewers are doing a little bit better in Milwaukee today than they did yesterday when they lost like 9-1. to Rockets and Cubs obviously on now. Mariners, Astros is up next, and Dodgers and Reds. Later on today, the Dodgers yesterday got that win 3-1 over the Reds. Mariners slapped the cheat strokes 11-1, though. Wow, way. Getting a view into David Ross right now, guys. Getting a view into David Ross as we're ready to rock and roll. Lucas says, A's are immune to spending money. Yeah, look, the A's are a real... <clears throat> look, I, I, honestly, um, Trucking Down Under, you were asking me yesterday <clears throat> who's a similar team to the Tigers. And, you know, I would say that realistically, because so obviously you're not too aware of this, but we have two leagues, right? So we have the American League and we have the National League. Um, the American League is, is effectively a, a different competition and the NRL is effectively a different competition but you do also kind of play each other you do play each other at times so that's why the Chicago Cubs are in the National League the Chicago White Sox are in the American League so we'll only play them about four times a year we play the Cardinals a lot more than that <laughs> a lot more than that um, you play NL your t- your league a lot more um, it's basically the uh, effect of a division to make it understandable there in like the NBA uh, the conferences and whatnot um, so I would say the your I would say probably the Oakland Athletics are very similar in regards to the West Tigers. They are a team that I don't think anyone really hates. Uh, maybe you get your San Francisco and whatnot who hate them, but I don't think anyone really greatly hates that team. They they do produce a lot of good talent there through the farm system. Uh, they do have a, a great deal of support for them, um, but they because the Tigers have a great deal of support for them, West Tigers, um, but they just never seem to get it done. And they haven't... Have they ever won Oakland? I don't think Oakland has Oakland... I don't think they ever have ever won. I don't think the Oakland Athletics ever won. Um, found in 1901 uh, World Series. 19. I don't think they have. I don't think they have. Did Oakland Athletics ever win? The team plays its home games at the Oakland Coliseum. No, so they haven't. They've won a lot of pennants, AL pennants, but they've never actually won it, I don't think. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, baseball fans in the chat. All right, Cubs batting order. Ortega, Villar, Contreras, Hap, Shredell, Suzuki, Hayward, Wisdom, and Nico Horner. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, Crazy New Zealand says, Tosso, Facebook, Tosso. All sports fans says, hey, brother, today the Cubs will win after analyzing the lineups. I've came to the conclusion it's a quick fire revenge on the Rockies. Go Cubs. I like it, but we are bringing up a AAA pitcher here today to start for us, so you've got to remember that. Antonio Santella, Sunday versus Dodgers, four-seam fastball, 60.6% with a 93.3-mile average. Slider, 348 with an 84.8-mile-per-hour average. Change-up is 3.0, 83.8 miles per hour, and then curveball, 1.5 with 75.8 miles per hour. Um, and also on those Oakland Athletics there, uh, trucking, uh, they uh, are also a, uh, a pretty good team. You know, they are also a, a good team <coughs> right now compared. No, the name does not appeal to me. <laughs> oh, it's just the Tigers thing, isn't it? Is it literally just because they are the Detroit Tigers? Anyway, that's my AL team, anyway. <laughs> that's my AL team. I don't care then about you, trucking. I don't care about who you support then, trucking. That's my AL team, then. Um, 
So Dom Nunes is the catcher here for the Rockies. Ryan McMahon, third base. Alan Trejo, uh, shortstop. Brandon Rogers, second base. CJ Cron in first. And you've got Connor Joe out there in right field. Sam Hilliard in center field. And Chris Sibu, Chris Sibyrne out there in the left field. So we're about to get underway here, guys. We're about to get underway. Come on, the Cubbies. Come, come on, the Cubbies. Cubbies. Come on, the Cubbies. Come, come on, the Cubbies. Cubbies. I missed the rugby earlier. It was really early in the morning for me. Sorry, man. It's all right, bro. The thing is with NRL streams and whatnot is that like, we get pretty significant views on those because we've built those those over many years. Um, so yeah, like I appreciate it. Like, if you get there, you get there. But you get there, you get there. We usually get yesterday. I think we had about a hundred or so watching um, between eight. Oh, we had two hundred watching for the Titans manly game. So Rafael Ortega will be leading off here for the Cubbies. One forty three average this year, five eight two OPS. I think he had a, a hit or two yesterday. Come on, baby. Top of the first. Baseball here on a nice little Sunday morning. Beautiful. And that's going to be ball number one. Uh, Starview says, let's go the Cubbies. That's what I like to see, Starview. That is exactly what I like to see. <laughs> Blue MR Cruz. Blue Mr. Cruz is the Cubs at 96% of the poll. 97% actually. Get it right, Blue Mr. Cruz. One second. That's going to be 2-0. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, Raphael. Uh, but yeah, Blue Mr. Cruz. Um, we obviously are more of a Cubs we are, I'm a Cubs fan, so of course I'm going to have more Cubs fans in the channel. Uh, and people will normally vote for the team that they support, yeah? So, <laughs> but yeah, I know, it's wild. It's a wild one. And swing, broken bat, and that's going to be a foul. So 2 on one count there. Rafael Ortega will break his bat on the first swing of the day. <laughs> Lucas says, truck and support the Yanks. I will not let truck and down under. Mark will not be a Yankees fan. Mark will not be be a Yankees fan. <laughs> I will tell you that right now. And he says, yep, support the Yankees. No, 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 no. Stop it. Don't be cheeky. Don't be cheeky in the chat. Don't be cheeky. Don't be cheeky. No, don't be cheeky. Why don't you just keep going over that luxury tax and still not winning? How about that one? Ah, ha, 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 ha. says, Lucas, not a bad idea. I did enjoy watching Seinfeld. Chuck it. No, do it. Ooh, I tell you what. So top of the first year, two and one count to Rafael Ortega. Troy Martinez says, thanks for sharing. Appreciate it, dude. We're here every single day, man. So uh, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. But next pitch is a tough one. Damn it, they're going to get him at first. Damn it, that was a short one there. That was a short one, but they do get him there at first. So that's one out there. Rafael Ortega does go down. Uh, all sports fan Adam says, let's go the Cubbies. Yeah, we started off well there with a <laughs> 2 no count, but then uh, broken bat, and then an easy one there at first. Rafael Teo goes. Looking forward to, obviously, what C.S. Suzuki has today. Uh, he won't come in until the second inning, you'd safely assume, unless we can get a couple of batters on here. Uh, Jonathan Villa will come up here now, 357 a batting average. He's been very good so far this series, individually, uh, for the Cubbies. 357 batting average, 412 OVP, uh, slugging a 500 with zero home runs and one RBI. I'm just thinking about tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm just thinking about tomorrow morning. I'm going to go at 5 a.m. For, for the Cubbies here. Oh, thank you very much to Kamikaze. F you for subscribing. Appreciate it, dude. I don't know why it never gets the sound. I might have to fix the sound on the alert box today before I do the NRL streams and for future baseball streams because for some reason I don't get the sound of when someone donates or when someone subscribes. It really is odd. I don't get it. So I, I need to know. Yes! Come on! That's a hit, baby. That's a hit, baby. That's a hit there for Jonathan Villa. So, first hit of the day. No, no hitter for you, big boy. No, no hitter for you. So, we'll be man on first here, Jonathan Villa. One out. Man on first base. Let's go. Get my wife's name out your mouth. Says, who's the Muppet the photo Rockies? There are Muppets out there. But, there we go. So, that's going to be the first hit of the day here. Jonathan Villa gets on. I told you he's been very good for us today. He's very very good at this, this series. He could be one of our better, uh, better batters this year. I think he hit a home run on game one, didn't he? Game one of the series here in Colorado. I think he hit a home run at left center field. Could be wrong, though. No, sorry. That was uh, that was Frankie Schwindel, who is not up now. It's Wilson Contreras hitting 389 so far this season. Had a really good day yesterday, three for five. With a couple of RBIs, and that'll be a swing, and that'll be a foul. So it'll be an on-one count here for Wilson Contreras. But obviously, you know, this is the first series that we're really sloughing out here on the channel. I'll tell you what, it's going to get hectic here, Chuck, and you're going to have fun when you see the... When you see the Cubs go up against the Cardinals and the Brewers, you're going to have some fun there as a moderator, man. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. 
The man on first here, swing up in the air, drive, 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 damn it, no, warning track. Oh, Contreras is getting some actual good connection, just not enough power behind these home run dingers. Behind these home run shots, Contreras is actually getting a bit of uh, getting a bit of uh, connection behind it. He's hit the warning track uh, multiple times here today, uh, this series, uh, but he just hasn't been able to get it just that de- deep enough. And, and Wilson knew it straight away too. He knew it straight away, unfortunately. So that'll be two out there with the man on first uh, remaining. And then Ian Happ now will come up with four two nine average this year. <laughs> wow, wee, <coughs> wow, wee. So Ian Happ hitting four two nine. They're gonna throw back to first to prevent Villa. Oh no, they've got him. Oh my god. Oh, no. So we're all done for the first, guys. Ian Happ didn't even get a swing. Not even a pitch. Uh, Villa will get caught out there at first. He literally got caught out at first there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So there we go, guys. That is the middle of the first, and the Cubs uh, get a man on, uh, but also get thrown out at first. Wow. So for the Rockies, uh, Connor Joe will be leading off here with a 3-2-1 average. Uh, Charlie Blackman with a 154 average will come up after that. He's not been good this series at all. He's just simply not found anything. And obviously, 154 average shows he hasn't really done anything so far this season. And Chris Bryant, he's on a 379. He's got nothing to hit a game, but hasn't really done a great deal uh, besides just that simple hit per game. So uh, this could be a game they, they, they open up a little bit more, especially against a... A young pitcher coming through. Um, you know, we've got a pitcher who we just brought up from the AAA to play today, to pitch today. So I am nervous for what Chris Bryant, Blackman, and <coughs> Conan Joe can do here. CJ Cron as well, uh, hitting that 1.057 OPS and a 310 uh, batting average. It's going to be a little bit nerve wracking, a little bit nerve wracking here, but uh, hopefully the Cubs know what they're doing. David Ross has got the right man for the job here. and and he knows what he's doing because I don't want to lose this game. I don't want to lose this game by big. Let's put it that way. I don't want to lose this game by big. And I, I do always get nervous when you see someone's been brought up for the AAA um, because obviously it is a, it is a significant um, it is significantly a rise up in uh, competition and uh, competitiveness from the AAA to to um, the the major league. But uh, yeah, I, I think that we'll, I think we'll be right. We've got a good batting lineup and, and we've been hitting really well this series. We hit really well yesterday. That's why I said, I believe we should have won yesterday. I think we had 12 to 11 hits. We lost by one. Obviously, we hit that home run. Oh, jeez, that's frustrating with Villa. Obviously, we hit that home run at the top of the ninth, uh, which gave us a good go. Um, we tried to come back, but that bottom of the fourth inning just really, really messed us around. And um, unfortunately, our, our, our bullpen actually did pretty well yesterday. Uh, but the first man in, I can't think of his name right now, but the first man in out of the bullpen was not a Zigrazist. Let's have a look, actually. What was his name? It was... Oh, I need to I need to remember his name. It was... Chris, uh, not Chris Martin. Sorry, I'm thinking about the first guy from game one. Um, Chris Martin didn't do one real. He gave out three hits, one a, uh, one walk, and that was in that one. Yeah, that's right. He only lasted the one inning. Chuck Adana says, what's the average speed of a pitcher's fastball, 100 miles per hour? I think it's about... Nine, I think the average would probably be about 93, 94. Maybe 96. Uh, Mark Leader, again, oh, can't read out his stats there, but that's going to be a ball. So one no count here to uh, Connor Joe. I'd say, I'll Google this one, but I would say it's probably around the 94 to 96 average. Average basketball speed and all, but here we go. Uh, 92 point, oh, that was 2016. That's a strike. Uh, 2018 was 92.8. I think it's about 92.8. How fast is the average MLB fastball? Um, it says the average fastball is between 50 and 60 miles per hour. No, mate. <laughs> that's not correct. One on one count there, swing, and that's going to be a foul. So we have a one on two count here for kind of Joe at 3 2 1 average. Uh, what is the average pitch speed in MLB? Uh, that's why in 2020, velocities were actually down in touch from opening day to the end of August. Pitches averaged 92.5 miles per hour in the fastball. Yeah, so about 93, like I said, about 93. 100 miles per hour is a good fastball, man. <laughs> that's not that's that's not something easy to be getting. You're getting a 100 mile per hour fastball, gee whiz, and that's going to be a difficult one to hit. But if you do hit it, it could be gone. It could be gone. But it is not an easy one to hit, champion. Not an easy one to hit at all. So two and two count here for Conjo. And swing, and that's going to be a foul. So we're still two and two count now. How good is it? Sunday morning here, 10.20 in the morning. You just get up, you get a coffee in you, and you get to watch a nice little bit of baseball. How good is this? But then again, 
it, the time zones will mess up, but in the same sense, like these 10 o'clock games are beautiful for over here in Australia. Even the 9 o'clock games are beautiful. The 4 a.m. games, maybe not so much. <laughs> maybe not so much, but I will still stream them. And that's going to be strike three. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Boom. Get out of here, Conjo. I want you to get out of there that way. I don't want you to walk that way. I want you to walk that way. Get out of here. Strike three. You're gone. And look at that. That just drops right underneath there. Beautiful pitch there from Lita. That's a beautiful pitch there from Lita Jr. Let's go. Yeah, he's looking at him like, what was that? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Uh, just obviously fair warning for you guys who are obviously massive baseball fans out there who know a lot more than I do. Um, I am not a great deal aware of the pitching, the exact pitching, like what the difference is necessarily between a lot of the pitches. That hits the zone, but that's going to be a ball. It's going to be a one-on count. Uh, when, I, when I mean that, I mean like, you know, uh, I can obviously tell a fastball. I can probably, I can tell it probably a cutter. Uh, I can tell a slider, uh, but that's really as far as my knowledge goes just now. So you've got to give me time. That's going to be a one-on-one -on -one count there. Charlie Blackman hitting 154 this year. So if I say a pitch wrong and you know and you're watching and using me as a commentator, please feel free to come in the chat saying, no, this is what this was instead because I do want to learn. That's why I love this sport because it's actually learning 24-7. Charlie Blackman got a hit there. Damn it. Goes out the left field there. So it'll be a man on first. Charlie Blackman gets on base and... Uh, Damn it, man. Damn it, 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 damn it. <clears throat> That's the thing that I really want to learn the most, actually, is the specific style of pitching. Chuck and Dennis says, majority of games played on the lights. Um, no, uh, this is obviously a day game right now in Colorado. So this started, I think... This, oh, sorry, this is a night game. This is a night game. So uh, the 4 a.m. games in, at Wrigley are day. Uh, sorry, yeah, the 4 a.m. games for us uh, are during the day. That's a 1 10 p.m. game uh, in, in Chicago. Uh, no, it's 50-50, man. 50-50. But any time we're doing a reasonable time for us in Australia, yes, obviously that is a, um, a, a night game. Any time it's not a good time, then it's a day game. So that's going to be a strike one there for Chrissy Bryant. Lucas says, uh, all the different pitches are confusing. Absolutely. D uh, pitches are very confusing to read, especially for someone like myself who is very new to the sport. Uh, well, I say new, I say four years, but still, um, it's still new to me. Um, so, and that is very, very new. <laughs> Four years, but still a long time, but it's also not a long time at all. So, I want to count here, man. On first one out, bottom of the first leader, junior with 10 pitches thrown. That's going to be strike, baby. One and two count. No, I want two count. Forget me. Forget me. I actually prefer the under lights games trucking in Chicago. Oh, no, I don't. No, I like day games better in Chicago. When I was there... <clears throat> Being in Chicago at 1 a.m., that's uh, so 1 p.m., uh, that's a beautiful time, beautiful time slot there. I think it's 6, 5, 10 when the um, the night game starts. Oh, jeez, I tell you what, these pitches that Lita Jr. Is, is throwing are actually spicy. They are actually spicy. That's the strikeout there with Chris Bryant, and it just keeps dropping under. It just keeps dropping under. Oh, man, look at that. I wonder if I can actually, if I go to MLB.com here, it's going to give me every single pitch. It will give me every single pitch so I can learn. I can learn exactly what pitch is being thrown here. Because that is a spicy pitch there, and he does get him gone. He does get him gone. So CJ Crom will come up here. 310 batting average so far this year with a 333 OBP. What, so what was that called? That was a slider. That was a slider. Okay. See, that's the thing. I didn't. There was not much difference. The strike one there for CJ Crom. There wasn't much difference between the slider and the cutter just then. But they've got cutter here and then slider. They had a sinker, cutter, and then slider. I didn't see much difference between that second pitch and that third pitch. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so Wilson Cat, uh, Contreras as the catcher here today, guys, with uh, Frankie Trindell first base, second base, Jonathan Villar, uh, Patrick Wisdom out there in third, and Nick Horner in shortstop. So that is the infield. And uh, I believe we'll have Jason Hayward in center. Oh, yeah, actually, well, he'd probably be right. He'd probably have C. Suzuki out in center and then um, Ian Happ out there in left. Let's see if I'm right there in that one. Let's see if I'm right there. I may not be. Uh, Ian Happy's left, yep. Suzuki's right, yep. Hayward's centre. See, buddy, don't tell me what I know and what I don't know. And that's going to be a swing. That's going to be a foul. So, 0-2 count here for Cron. And Leader Jr.'s gotten off to a good start here. I know we gave up that hit before to uh, to Charlie Blackman, but I'm telling you, he's gotten off to a decent little start here, uh, Leader Jr. Beautiful. That's what we'd like to see. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. 14 pitches thrown from two. Not too, not too shabby. You don't want him going over the 20-pitch mark here <clears throat> as a triple-A pitcher. 
So Leo Jr. here on 14 pitches. That's going to be a ball. So that will be uh, a one and two count now. All right, so that was a cutter. Beautiful. See, it gives you... That's uh, no, Sorry, that was a fastball there. Absolutely, that was a fastball. I don't even know why I looked at that because I knew that was. <laughs> All right, so one and two count now. Two out. Let's punch him out. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Give him a good pitch here and just slap him down. And that is a in the dirt. <laughs> that is in the dirt, that little bad boy there. But I, I feel like it would it would take like a good decade to really understand all the pitches and exactly what a pitch looks like um, for every single pitch. Because I'm telling you, from a fan who doesn't really get a great deal of it, it is very difficult to actually define the differences, the intricacies of each and every single pitch. I know it may seem easy to some people out there. Swing, foul. So two and two count. It may seem easy for some people out there. Um, but there are a lot of intricacies that uh, they do differentiate um, the two pitches, but they also look very similar. They look very similar sometimes. <clears throat> so bottom of the first here, man, on first two and two. Two out. Leader Jr. with 17 pitches thrown so far. CJ Crom with 3.10. CJ Crom's been okay this series. Nothing too spectacular in the first two games. I think he got a hit yesterday and maybe... Two hits on day one, but nothing too wild. It was only just a single with no one on, I don't believe. That's a ball. Yeah, it'll be a full count here. Three, two, full count. And that will be a sinker. Look, it says, feel like it's something where you have to, to have played to really understand the pitches. Yeah, I agree. Anyone who's American here and, and has watched it all their life, do you understand every single pitch that gets thrown? Like, can you tell every single pitch to, to a T exactly what's being thrown and with a 100% guarantee? Let us know in the chat. So three and two count here, two out, and that's going to be... Strike three! Ha 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 ha, he's walking to first base. Don't you walk, don't you do it. Don't you do it, CJ Cron. That's the end of the first there, baby. Get on out of here. Don't you cry to me. Don't you cry to me, Mr. Argentina. No, 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 no. So end of the first there, guys, and it will be zero to zero. No one gets a run, but both teams do get a hit. So let's go and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get around it. Starview says yes. But do you understand what I'm saying, though? <laughs> please, please understand what I'm saying, though. <laughs> please understand what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> cool strike and cutter there. How long have you been following the sport, Starview? Since you were, since you were born? How long ago was that? How, how long have you had to suffer as a Cubs fan besides 2016? Is my answer, is my question there. <laughs> I actually, you know, there is this notion, and I know I'm a, I'm a new Cubs fan, but there is this notion that Cubs is still a di very difficult team to support. I actually significantly disagree with it, and I support a lot of sports around the world. I support every sport around the world. I watch it frequently. <clears throat> I watch it frequently. I watch every sport, and uh, I actually think that the Cubs are a very exciting team to follow, even when we had last year. Like, last year, last year was what makes you as a fan. You know, when we got rid of all of our, our key core players that we've been around for years, you know, it, it shows you who is willing to stick by the team through the times where you have gigantic adversity. Now, that is that is literally the most, that is possibly the, the biggest form of adversity I've ever seen in sport in regards to a specific team, in regards to getting rid of literally everyone they've been through for years, they've won a World Series, first time in 108 years, um, they, they felt attached to them, and they got rid of every single one of their good players, right? Their best players. Not every single one, because Contreras stayed and whatnot, but pretty much every single one of their real core big-time players. Um, I think that last year was one of the best years, in my opinion, to be, besides obviously winning a World Series, to be a Cubs fan, because you got to experience... You got to experience us at the very beginning and refresh of something that we're going to be pretty special in in a couple of years' time, I believe. I really think that um, last year proved to everyone that uh, we are... I know that the Ricketts are maybe not the greatest in regards to um, how much money they want to spend and how much they're willing to actually put in. That's going to be a one and no count here to uh, Ian Happ, who will be batting now. Um, I know the Ricketts aren't exactly fantastic in regards to how much money they want to spend, but I'm just saying, we're putting something special together. I know it. I can feel it. I can see it. And last year was a really good year to to, uh, to be a Cubs fan, to understand the difference between you know where we're at and where we're going to be going, in my opinion. 
Uh, Starview says, Cubs fan for 38 years. Wow, wee. Good stuff, man. Well, you've seen it all. Well, you've seen pre- pretty much all of it, actually. Yeah, you have. <laughs> yeah, you have. And swing. Hap! 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 Oh, no, it's a foul. Oh, I sliced down the line, but that was a good hit down into the corner, but it would literally be in the corner there. Damn it. <clears throat> damn it, that was a really good hit there. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, so two on count there. I'm get off that because it's actually telling me what the pitch is before I see it. And that'll be a swing and strike there. <laughs> so that's going to be a two and two count here. Ian Hat, 429. Batting average sheet. He has been good this year. Wasn't good in the game one of this series, but was good yesterday. Well, he's better yesterday. And swing. And that's going to be an easy out. Damn it. So first out here of the second. Look, it says, Stavio, have you played? And Stavio says, no college football. So I'm assuming you're a Bears fan, big fella. I'm assuming you're a Bears fan. And that's another hard one to play. <laughs> that's the tough one. I... Oh, man, I will. Pro- I promise everyone here, I will go and vlog when the Bears make the Super Bowl. I know I'm a Detroit Lions fan, but and I know you are legally required to feel sorry for me. You are legally... I'm, I'm telling you right now, there's no argument here. You are legally required to feel sorry for me as a Detroit Lions fan, and that's final. That is final. Um, but I'm a, <laughs> I'm a Chicago fan and everything else. So it's going to be uh, top of the second here, and one out, and it's going to be an 0-1 count of Frankie Schwindel. He's hitting 269 this year with a 706. Uh, OBP, uh, sorry, OPS. And that's going to be a ball. It's a 1-1 count now. You are legally required to feel sorry for me as a Detroit Lions fan, and that is final. I refuse to listen to you saying, no, I don't feel sorry for you. You, you have to. It's uh, You will go to jail. You will go to jail. So 1-1 one one count now, and that's going to be a ball. So what I'm noticing so far to the top of the second is that his zone is very dicey around that bottom edge area. You don't really know what he's going to call. There's been a couple of balls that have been just lower that he's called strike, and there's also been a couple that have hit the exact same area, like the exact same area, and it's been a ball. So uh, the bottom edge of the zone is, is really dicey today. Bounce, 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 bounce. Damn it, that's going to be out. Damn it, straight to the second baseman there, and Frankie Schwindel will go down. Dad says, looking at jail time if we don't feel sorry for Lions fans. Exactly right, Dad's mate. See, now, now we're thinking. You know what I'm saying? Now, now that's the thinker right there. Now, that, that is the thinker right there. Well done, Dad's mate. And your angels are actually not losing today. Crazy, eh? It's crazy how things happen. Like, the crazy this world is, eh? So, Sia Suzuki, the big man. 368 batting average for Sia Suzuki. We love Sia so far this year. 368 batting average and OBP of 500. Slugging is 895. Home runs 3 and 10 RBIs. This season, seven games. Um, I'm nervous if I want to go all in on saying he's going to have a big 30 run home run season, but uh, I definitely believe he has the ability to. Uh, but I just know what analytics can be brought in to, to really prevent new batters who, who come out hot. And then I'm just saying the MLB is very good for locking down on specific batters. So on one count here. Oh, connected. We go down the line for a foul. Uh, Savio says, all in fun. Stay true. Exactly right, man. Exactly right. Don't worry. Don't worry. The only team that I, the only team that is is great for me is Man City, and that's and I've supported them through the shit too back in the early days before 2008, before we got bought over. And it's gonna be a ball there, so it'll be one or two count here for Sia Suzuki. They intentionally walked him yesterday, so we pinch hit him when the bases were loaded. No, not bases loaded. There was a man on first and second, and then we pinch hit Suzuki, and they intentionally walked him. Um, so, uh, they know what he can produce. Swing, up in the air. That's going to be a foul. So, we'll say one or two count here. Uh, Lucas says, Daz, who's your NFL team? He's actually a Patriots fan. We can feel sorry for him, but not sorry for him in regards to success. Just feel sorry for him. Just feel sorry for him because he made the wrong choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daz says, we might go undefeated with the rest of the season if we win our second game in a row. Unbelievable, the Angels. It's only the fourth. It's only the end of the fourth, though. Uh, and that's going to be a foul again. So it will be a one and two count here to Suzuki. Oh, man. Being a Pats fan, you do have to feel sorry for him. Just not the same sorry for the Detroit Lions. All sports fan Adam says, Baltimore leading Yankees. Oh, again, 2-0. My weekend is complete. The Orioles again, 2-0 over the Yanks. Are you serious? That's a ball there. That's a ball. Logan Smith says, let's go, Cubbies. Let's go, do, do. Let's go, Cubbies. Let's go, do, do. Two and two county to see Suzuki. He's a very patient player. Very patient fan. 
Lucas is disappointed, Daz. I'd be disappointed, Daz, too, unfortunately. And swing! Drive, 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 that was n wow. That's a 415 foot double, mind you. Just want to throw that out there. That's a 415 foot double to center field. Uh, come on, give me the home run there. Give me the home run there, Bora. Give me the home run there. 415 foot double to see a Suzuki there. Look at that slap. Just goes crunch straight down, drives it down center field. That is literally a 400... That was about a, a foot. A meter for me. Oh, it's about a meter, but... I think it's about a foot. <laughs> I mean, so I'm Australian, guys. You do have to remember, I am going to talk in... Everyone else besides America and Canada terms. Uh, <laughs> but there's about a foot or two away from being a home run there. Hey, would first pitch swing, and that's going to be a foul. On one count. It is two outs, though, unfortunately. So, uh, see Suzuki needs Jason Haywood to, to land a hit... Uh, a nice little base hit to, here to get Suzuki around. This season, five games, Jason Hayward uh, had 286 batting average with an OBP of 375, slugging 286, home run zero and zero RBIs. Uh, look, his contract is gigantic, uh, but with that being said, Jason does bring a lot of cool-headedness to the team. And uh, if we can get anything out of this bat, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? If we can get anything out of his bat right now, we'll take it. He hasn't exactly been the greatest at the uh, plate for a, for a while now, for a few years. But he did get something good the other day. I don't know why I'm looking at the Angels score down here. I don't care about the Angels. Daz, man, stop it. You got a bad a bad effect on me. Ah, the Cardinals have taken a 1-0 lead over the Brewers. They win Milwaukee. Brewers not looking good so far this season. That's the Bulls. It'll be one or two count, two out. The Brewers. Milwaukee, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You're letting the St. Louis bloody Cardinals get up. What are you doing, man? Stop it. Stop letting them do well. By the way, this is the free game today. If you do want to watch this game with me, guys, this is the free game on MLB.tv. So you can watch it and use me as a commentator. Oh, Jason Haywood! Oh, damn, that's unfortunate. That was just down the line. But they will get him out at first there. That was nearly a score. Um, no, I wouldn't know. I think Suzuki probably gets to third. But that's going to be the end of the... That's going to be the middle of the second here, guys. Sorry. Um, and it will be two hits to one to the Cubs. And like I said, the Cubs are hitting in this series. But it's just about getting them actually into the plate. So now we'll see as the Rockies come out here to see if they can do a bit more business here. That's what says. The Rams and Chargers weren't in LA at the time. And no uh, bringing up that Muppet, Eli Manning. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Daz. Oh, no. Oh, no, Eli Manning. Here we go. Now we're talking. You know who I'm looking forward to? This year is Russell Wilson in Denver, you know? Yeah, we're in Denver right now. We're in Colorado right now. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Hey, just buddy, let's go right here, Cubbies. All right? See, I'm talking to them. They're on the field right now. Um, but, no, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what Russell Wilson does there because he could easily tank it, man. Like, he could, they could easily tank it. But I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do this year. The old Denver Schmonkos. Uh, Russell Wilson has quickly become the FaceTime of Broncos franchise. You, well, well, of course that's going to happen, man. Like, what, are you, what are you expecting there? Like, what are you expecting there? Of course that was going to be happening there. Uh, but that was a slider that caught Jason Hayward out just then. I told you. <laughs> it's all right. We're getting hits. Like I told you guys, got to be patient. Baseball's a patient game. We are only seven games in. Do not tell me that anything has happened yet. There is nothing that's happened in baseball yet. Not a single team has shown you who they're going to be this year. Maybe besides the Dodgers. But that's because the Dodgers are the Dodgers. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Cubs haven't proven to you they're a playoff team, and they haven't proven to you that they're not making the playoffs. Not a single team in the, the league has shown you anything yet because it's only seven games in. You've got to be patient. 162-game season. Honestly, like the NFL, you don't really look at what's happening in the NFL until maybe four games in. To, to kind of understand where a team's at. The NRL is six, seven games in. Um, the uh, hockey would, uh, basketball would be probably 20 games in, I would say. Baseball, I don't even really see until about 50 to 60 games in. Like, you know, you have an idea, but 50, oh, Mark Leader, his father was back in the 90s, 11 year MLB career, get around him. Uh, get around him. Al Leader and Jack Leader. He's got a really successful family here, Mark Leader Jr. So that's going to be strike one there for uh, Ron McMahon, I think it is. Yeah, it is McMahon. 
So Mark Leader had an 11-year MLB career. Al Leader had a 19-year MLB career in 18, 1987 and 2005. His uncle and his cousin Jack Leader was the number two overall selection in 2021 MLB draft. So they've got a very successful family. That should be an easy hit there to second baseman Jason Hayward, and then they'll throw him out at Sh- to Schwindel at first. So he's gone. He's gone. Soap Collects, I'll be watching your night stream at Sabo. Good stuff, Soap Collects. I'll be doing both those games today, the Knights, Dragons, and also the uh, the other game, which is... Who's the other game? Uh, Warriors and Roosters. That'll be a sneaky. You should be watching both those, because that Warriors-Roosters game will be nice. But then, are you getting up with me at 5 a.m. tomorrow with the Cubbies? Ah, yeah. And the Bulls-Bucks at uh, 8 o'clock. No, 8.30, I think that's on. And that's going to be too high there. So, it's going to be a one-on-one count. So... Uh, who's up now? It's going to be Brendan Rodgers. He's gone from Liverpool. Uh, or no, he's gone. Who's he coaching now? Who is he managing now, Brendan Rodgers? Uh, but he's zero <laughs> eighty-seven. he's hitting this year. Rodgers, not so great. Probably should go back to football. And that's going to be a oh, one-on-one count here for the Rodgers. That'll be a strike, Reno. David says the Broncos could go over 500 and still miss the playoffs with that division. Absolutely. And it's beautiful. Hmm. 1-1 one, one count now, and swing, and there'll be a foul down left field line. Well, I, I think it's, at this point, we just know that the Detroit Lions are winning the division in the NFC North. You know, it's just obvious at this point, you know? It's just, <laughs> it's just obvious at this point. You don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it, man. It's just obvious that the, the Lions are going to be topping the NFC North. And swing and a miss, baby. Get out of here. So that'll be two out for the Rockies. And this game is uh, going through quite quickly, actually, at the moment. We're actually going through this game quite quickly. Uh, we've only been on here for... Actually, when did we start? No, we started at 10.10. So it's been going for half an hour for two. Oh, no, it's been going pretty fine. But we are going through each of the batters pretty quickly here. I think it's only been one full count so far. And... Th- uh, Suzuki obviously has a hit. Uh, we saw Connor, uh, Charlie Blackman get a hit. And uh, we also saw uh, Ortega. No, it wasn't Ortega. It was Villa. Ooh, ooh, ooh Villa. So that'll be a one no count here to Hilliard. Sam Hilliard with a 2-2-2 batting average with an OBP of 2-2-2. Slugging 3-3-3. Oh, jeez. He loves his buddy numbers. He loves his number, number, number. He loves his buddy's same number. Two balls, no strikes here, so he's ahead of the count, 2-0. and oh. Good crowd again here, but it is a Saturday, obviously, in America, so no surprise, it's a good crowd there. And next up will be up in the air, surely that's out. Catch him, get him gone, get him gone, get him gone. Jason Hayward's got it. Yes, he does. No, it's Villar who's got it. Sorry, I don't know why it's Jason Hayward. Villar will get the catch, and that will be all done. Sayonara for the end of the second. Thank you for coming, Rockies. And now we're going to come out here with a bit of Paddy Wisdom action. Yes, sir. Nico Horner. And then we're going to get Rafael Ortega come back on out. So, guys, just going to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Appreciate you for tuning in, as per usual. We love our baseball, and uh, I hope you guys are having a good time watching it. And if you ever have any advice for me in regards to baseball streams, do let me know, man. Do let me know. But... Uh, uh, Carby's doing all right here. Up 2-1 in the hit department and didn't give up a hit in that uh, bottom of the second there. Just going to be very careful around that 4, 5, and 6 marker because that's where we seem to be giving up our runs recently. Uh, in that first game, the game one of the series here, uh, the Cubs... Uh, hold on a second. Cubs, uh, Rockies, we won 5-2. We gave up two runs in the bottom of the fifth. That was the only time we gave up runs there, though. It was. Uh, hold on, I'm going to get Cubs up here <clears throat> so I can see specifically. So, yeah, oh, I can tell you yesterday's anyway, but I'm just going to go confirm it. Uh, but two runs in that uh, bottom of the fourth there. And then yesterday, we also gave up the five runs in the bottom of the fourth and one run in the bottom of the fifth. So that fourth and fifth inning there uh, for this series so far has been our danger zone, specifically the fourth where we gave up two, two in game one, and then five in game two there. So we just really need to lock down specifically around that area. I don't know why I have to keep clicking on my throat today. I have been quite sick recently as well, guys. So if, uh, well, you're not going to tell the difference, really. I, I, I put on enough energy to <laughs> to show you guys that I'm not sick, but I am. I haven't been able to repair my throat, really, because I've been doing so many streams. Yesterday, we did the Cubs game. Then we did two NRL games last night, which was Titans Manly. And um, and the other game was uh, Shark Storm. And then today, we've got this game. And then later on tonight, we'll be doing two more NRL games. 
which is Warriors, Roosters, and Knights, Dragons. That's on Beak Our Sport, my Australian channel, uh, which we have about 16,000. So nearly about, next, nearly 16.2, actually. Nearly 16,200 subscribers. We're about 10 subscribers away from 16,200, so we're killing it. Uh, and then tomorrow, we're going to be doing the baseball and the basketball. 356 team on base percentage, third in the MLB. Wow, the Cubs are doing well this year in regards to on base percentage. Beautiful. That's what you like to see. So we are getting on base a lot. And I've been saying this. We are getting on base a lot. That's going to be a strike there. So it'll be a 0-1 count to uh, Paddy Wisdom. Now, like I said, Wisdom has not been batting well this year. But yesterday, he did well. He got two hits. He's hitting 130. And he hit that home run yesterday to bring us back in the game at 6-5. Unless I'm mistaken. I think it was Paddy Wisdom. Say, so, is college baseball any good? Do people get around it? I don't think so. I think that... All co- Baseball as like a triple A kind of deal, like a, the uh, farm systems and whatnot uh, for each of the organizations. I think that uh, Starview would probably be better to answer this one, but I don't think baseball is that well supported on the college collegiate level as the NCAA basketball is or the college football, but people still would get around the baseball, of course. Oh, Batty Wisdom, yes! Come on, baby, that's a hit. Lead off hit, baby, for Paddy Wisdom, and he's starting to feel it. He's starting to feel it. He's starting to feel it. Let's go. He's starting to feel it. That's what I'm talking about. That's my boy, Paddy Wisdom. That's my boy, Paddy Wisdom. Uh, some of these basketball games you're planning to do, I'll be doing the Bulls game tomorrow versus the Bucks and also probably the Suns game right after that. So we've got three streams in the morning tomorrow. we go bang, bang, bang. And Nico Horner here with a 190 average comes up. He's got a really good, uh, really good contact hitting rate. So hopefully he can uh, dink it over the top. He, he loves getting into shallow center field. But if there is an American out there in the chat, uh, like a star view or someone out there, please let us know in regards to how well the collegiate level is supported in regards to baseball. I know that people do get out to the, you know, the Iowa Cubs and whatnot, um, but more so in comparison to, you know, the likes of the NCAA and the, the basketball and, and, and college football is what the comparison is. Because I don't believe hockey is really well supported at uh, college level. That's a ball. No, um, no. It's going to be a 1-1 one, one count here, but that should have been a 2 no count. <clears throat> should have been a 2 no count there. All right, so Nico Horner here with a 190 average. Come on, Nico. Send the teller on 34 pitches thrown so far. Not too bad. And, ooh, that's a strike. That is a strike. That's a good strike, too. That's a fastball just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, that was a fastball. Tyrese Max with 38 points. Wow. Actually, he's a good player. And they are playing the Raptors. That was always expected. I, I believe that they are getting a sweep there. And that's going to be swing. And that's going to be a hit. Let's go. So we're going to be having a man on first and a man on second here. 2-1, nobody out, baby. 2-1, nobody out. Let's go. Boop. Bing, bing, bong. Boop. I like it. Nico Horner with a nice little shallow right field. Dinkaruno there for the Nico Horner. And we'll have a man on first and a man on second here. Zero out. And Rafael Dega. Ooh, he's coming up to the plate. Here he goes. Starview says, very true. College baseball does not generate much capital. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like I said, I see a decent amount of people going to like Iowa Cubs games and stuff like that. But that's really the... the Because lo- the thing is, is that in baseball, there is so many different levels. So it kind of gets separated. In basketball, there is just simply college and then... There's college, there's high, high school, college, and then you get to the, the, the um, NBA, right? Uh, I know that there is G League and whatnot, but no. There's there's high school, college, and then NBA. So this is one on no count here to Ortega. Man on first, man on second here. No out with uh, top of the third. And then with college football, it's pretty similar. Relatively similar. One second here. One on no count here to Ortega. Man on first and second, no out. And that's going to be... Ooh, he's going to close the ball. He's been calling that a strike all day, but I'll take it. So that's going to be a 2 no count. Um, and then with baseball, there is like AAA, AA, AA+. Plus, <laughs> a, like there's, you know, there's like a heap of different like areas. So it separates all the support you possibly can have. Um, and then obviously with college, it's, it's a whole different level as well. So there's too many different aspects and areas to, to kind of have that well really quality support, I guess, for college, specifically. Um, a good friend of mine, actually. Not a good friend of mine, but a guy I know. I have had him on the channel before. Actually, he's in the White Sox system right now. 
And that's going to be a bunt. Bunt. Get there. Get there. Oh, he's out. But he will get a good bunt, though. So, man off the second and third. He nearly got there with that bunt, though. But we will get the runners and progress them to second and third here. Rafael Otega will be out at first. Uh, one out. And now we have Jonathan Villa. Ooh, here we go, baby. Here we go. Let's get it going. Starview says, I would say it depends which states with the college ice hockey. I meant to, I meant ice hockey, but I'm not really into college sport at all. I love college basketball. I do. I love watching college basketball for the NCAA tournament. Uh, but, and college football can be quite fun too. I just don't have the time with all the sports that I do to watch them as frequently and stream them and whatnot. Uh, maybe next year we'll do the NCAA uh, March Madness. That was the first ever streams I did, man. That was the first ever streams I did, March Madness back in 2019. And it's going to be a ball. Villa is looking like he wants to go for the bunt here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As my the Celtics getting swept. Who's the Celtics playing right now? So man on second, man on third. Paddy Wisdom at third. And Nico Horner at second. One on no count here to Jonathan Villa with a hit already in today's game. 41 pitches so far for Sensatella. And swing. Oh, curl back in there, but he was just underneath it. So it will be a one on one count here for our man Villa. So Brown says, is baseball season pass expensive? No, bro. It's like 140 bucks Australian for the, every single game throughout the entire season. And I think you can pay it off monthly too. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable price. It's like $120 for your individual team, $140 for every team. It's, it's wild. It's like $20 difference. And you get every single team on MV.TV. It's brilliant. Just brilliant. Truly. And like I said, you can pay it off. So I think you can pay it off $20 a month or something like that. It's wild. Really good, really good value. Really good value. Uh, Celtics, who are they playing? Who are the Celtics playing? Oh, the Nets. Oh, yeah, probably. And that's a ball. So a 3-1 count here. Load them bases, baby. Load them up for me. Give me that loading. Load the bases. Just do it, man. Well, you know, just do it. Maybe get a bit of Contreras action coming up here. A bit of spicy Contreras action. I can't say no to that. I don't think anyone's saying no to that, except for Colorado Rockies fans. But we don't care about what they have to say right now. I don't mind the Rockies, but... <laughs> Gee whiz. It'll be good. Villar's going to get a nice little walk here. No, he's going to hit it! Yeah! 2-0 to the Cubbies. Oh, no, it's going to be 1-0. Nico Horner will not run there. He should have. be 1-0 to the Cubs, though. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go, big boy. Woo! So, man on first, man on third here. Cubbies lead 1-0. Jonathan Villar with a two-hit game already with an RBI. Ooh, hoo, hoo. He's looking good this year, man. Jonathan Villar was a really good pickup for the Cubs. Really good pickup for the Cubs. He's been probably our best player. Oh, no, I'd say Contreras. No, I'd say consistently. Villar has actually been our best player this year. He is now hitting a 4-3-8. Like, you can't, you can't handle it. Uh, Stavi says, I don't follow ice hockey. No comment. Fair enough. Uh, young Singer says, hey, Big So it's round three for the Chi-Town Cubbies versus the Mile High Chicken Rockies. How are you doing tonight, man? Well, it's this morning for me. It's 11 a.m. in the morning for me. Just had a nice little coffee. I haven't finished it yet, but uh, it's now cold, so I'm not going to drink any more of that. <laughs> man on first, man on third here, top of the third. One out, and that's going to be, no, Contreras, don't swing at the dirt. That's going to be, no, one, one count. On deck is Ian Happ, and in the hole is Frankie Schoender. Come on, Wilson. I will always love this man for that go-ahead, um, no, sorry, that walk-off. Home run against the, uh, I think it was the Brewers at Wrigley. Oh, slice down the line. Will be a foul there. So I want to count. We've still got, what, we've still only got one out. Don't play option is there though. Um, actually, is that coming through on the screen? Beautiful. It is working. Beautiful. There you go. See, I told you guys I'd sort it out. I've already, you know, you know, I'll do all right. I'll do all right with you. 80% in zone contact rate. Highest of career for Contreras so far. Our guys have really been feeling it at the beginning part of the season. We always do. So don't get too excited. But get excited as well. That's going to be a foul. So stay as an 0-2 count. Don't get too excited. But also get excited. But don't get too excited. Because we all know what happened last year. We all know what happened last year with the Cubbies. So Contreras here. Oh, but that was a different season last year. But I just want to say, like, don't, don't, don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't think that everything's sorted yet. <laughs> But we are looking all right looking in this early part of the season. All right, so 0-2 count here. Man on first, man on third. One out, top of the third for Wilson Contreras. They'll throw back, try and pick off Villa, who's already been picked off in today's game. Xavier Browns, do you see fights between fans much in American sport like you can see in England? Nowhere near as much as 
the crowd segregation of Europe or, or South America and whatnot. But if you're a Yankees fan in Red Sox Stadium, then yeah. If you're a Red Sox fan in Yankee Stadium, then yeah. If you're a Cardinals fan at, at Wrigley Field, you will have abuse thrown your way, and I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but I don't think it's it's frequent. I didn't see any fights specifically between Cardinals and Cubs when I was at Wrigley for the um, for the the rivalry. Dodgers and Giants do. Dodgers Giants do get pretty physically violent. Yeah, um, you don't want to be in the wrong area at the wrong time there. Uh, and I'd say Cubs and, and Cardinals could absolutely be, but the Cardinals fans didn't want to chat because we swept them in that series. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a ball, and Villa will get back to first before it gets thrown out. So it'll be a two and two count. Two and two count. Uh, but yeah, look, uh, NFL is a lot higher. Um, a lot higher chance for fights, I would say, because of the... the nature of the sports like rugby league and union it's very physical baseball's not so physical um basketball i don't see any really i wouldn't necessarily assume much no and swing go through it's gonna be a double play damn it damn it's gonna be a double play from Contreras. ah that's not what we wanted there man so it's gonna be uh middle of the third there unfortunately Contreras will ground out the shortstop they'll get to the second baseman and then they'll throw him out at first so that'll be a double play but the cubs hitting well again five runs uh, five hits we got one run in that inning, thank God. We should have got two. Nico Horner should have actually ran it, uh, but he didn't do it. Uh, he should have gone for it, uh, but unfortunately, he doesn't want to do it today. So uh, we go to the bottom of third, leading 1-0, but we are hitting well again. I'm telling you, we are hitting well so far this series and so far this year. If you wait, we go back to Wrigley Field tomorrow, baby. Wait, no, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, the day after against Pittsburgh. We have a long stretch here. Like, we'll be streaming every single day for the next, I think, 11 days. I don't think we get a, a day break for a, a good 10, 11 days, lads. Uh, young Stingray says, Oh, yeah, I forget you live in the Middle East area. <laughs> Brother, Australia is not the Middle East. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I gotta love this one. Australia's nowhere near the Middle East, my guy. <laughs> the Middle East is like Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Australia is, <laughs> bro. Australia is absolutely nowhere near the Middle East. Absolutely. I think that you in America are closer to the Middle East than we are to the Middle East. Oh, you are across the Atlantic. Obviously, UK is there, and then you get Europe and the Middle East. Uh, oh, I think we probably are closer, but it's literally in between America and Australia. Um, Australia is close, uh, like south of Asia, bro. Uh, <laughs> Australia is close, south of Asia, bro. So um, I don't know if you know this, but um, I'm not, by the way, I'm not insulting you at all. I'm just, I find it funny that we got compared to the Middle East there. Uh, but so basically, you know, China, Japan, and then you go south to Indonesia, you got Vietnam and whatnot, and then you keep going south and you got this big whopping damn well massive island. You're just like, what the hell's going on here? And it's like, oh, wait, that's Australia right there. So no, <laughs> we're close to Antarctica. <laughs> we're close to Antarctica. But yeah, you guys are cold. Oh, then again, you're closer to the North Pole, I guess. North Pole. <laughs> North Pole. You're closer to the, um, what's it called? Uh, Antarctica, Arctic. That's the one. The North Pole. Uh, Ryan Zarkle uh, says Sydney borders the Qatar and the Gold Coast borders UAE well I'm going to be vlogging the Qatar World Cup then I'll be just walking across the uh, street to uh, the Qatar World Cup at the end of this year hopefully Australia is there alright so going to the uh, bottom of the third I just hope you don't feel insulted by this young Stingray but it is quite funny to be compared to the Middle East when we are literally nowhere near him Oh, man. So, bottom of the third here, and that's going to be a ball. That was edging the zone there at the top there, uh, but they will call that as a ball, so it'll be one on account. Simon Hughes said, I think in North American sports, a test likely fan of a away fan to go and watch this team. See a lot of fans traveling to see their team. It's a very big country. Yeah, uh, but I have seen a lot of aggression at NFL games. Just, I'd say it probably goes NFL, baseball, because the length and time you can drink. And then hockey, then basketball, in regards to maybe potentially physical violence happening, I think. And it's going to be, oh, good strike. So I'll be a 2 on 1 count now. Trejo with a 250 average so far this season. Oh, that's what I would say. Disagree with me, disagree with me if you like in the chat. I'm going, kind of going off assumption and opinion, but I'd say go, in regards to physically violence in stadiums, I'd say probably football, American football, baseball. Hockey, basketball, at short. Boom! He's gone at first. The Treo 
will uh, go straight to Nico Horner there, and Horner will throw him out at first. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Middle East. Can't wait to vlog that uh, guitar woke up this year. Just going to walk across there. Hey, just outside my sta my my house, I can say, see the uh, the host stadium for the Qatar World Cup. Uh, Bogum says, "Do you think Sia Suzuki is worth 85 million? I think it's very, very early days here. I think it's very, very early days, Bogum. Um, financials are another thing that really does skip past me in regards to values and whatnot. Um, but with that being said, I think that it's very difficult to to gauge a good reading." of where a player is at, financially speaking, in regards to what they're worth uh, when it has only been seven games. But through these seven games, he has been very good today. He's also got a double today. He's had one at-bat today and got a double. He's had multiple home runs already so far this season. He's looking very good for the Cubs. He's looking very good for the Cubs, Pokemon. So um, I will say at this point, yes. At this point, I'll say yes. But I'm also saying there's no guarantee that, you know, long-term he's going to succeed. But I do back him in 100%, and I'm, I'm super looking forward to... Uh, what he can produce, like I keep saying. Jeez, um, Nico Horner, that was a really good throw. Uh, no throwing it, showing a highlight from before. And I'll be a ball. Young Stingray, Young Stingray says, no, you good. It was funny how you say, is morning for you where you're living? Plus, it's just bringing, bringing that comedy entertainment in the chat. Exactly right. Um, obviously, Middle East, I believe right now, would be about midnight. Uh, it's 11.04 a.m. for me. It's probably about midnight, 1 a.m. in the Middle East. Maybe even... No, it might even be like one or two, because I know the UK is about midnight right now. And that's going to be too high. So that'll be a ball there. Uh, Leah Jr., 36 pitches thrown. Nunez is the one on strike right now. Nunez uh, hits two at-bats, zero for two. He's had two games, and he's just had the two at-bats. Uh, no home runs, no hits, no RBIs. OPS of 333. Three, three. Um, lawn bowls are first, I reckon. <laughs> You are something, eh? You are something. So that's going to be a strike there. That'll be a 1-1 count. Lucky they called that on the inside edge. He has been calling that pretty pretty fair today, the inside edge of the zone. Bottom has been a bit wild. The top has been a bit how you're going. The far side, the outside edge, has not really been... There's nothing really to say about the outside edge so far. So don't worry. BKR Sport Geography. Uh, BKR Ge Geography will help you out today, young singer. <laughs> and it's going to be a ball. Oh, that's a full count. Oh, true. Well, that's a walk. Well, forget me. Forget me. I got distracted. Now will be a full count walk there for uh, for Nunes. And I don't like that considering that guy has uh, not got a hit so far this season. Don't forget, guys, in about three weeks' time, not only is it my birthday, but it is also the Crosstown Series between the Chicago Cubbies and the Chicago White Sox. And that will be, I believe, at Wrigley. I think it is at Wrigley. So... We get to uh, show that we are the greatest team in Chicago history. Right there and there. Right there and then. So, man on first right now. Bottom of third. One out. One, and a, one zero is the score to the Cubs. Up it goes. Please get him out. Please get him out. Please get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Damn, that's going to be a score, isn't it? Ah, it's going to be a score, isn't it? No, there's a mistake out there. It's going to be one zero. Oh, no. That's a triple, guys. That's a triple. That should not have been a triple, but Jason Hayward messed it up out there in the uh, center. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So that's going to be 1-1 one, one here, and that's unfortunate because we walked up, we walked the guy that has not had a hit all season. We walked the guy who couldn't get a hit all season, and then Connor Joe comes in, hits a triple, Jason Hayward messes it up, and uh, and then you see... I think Joe probably gets there. He's got the speed. He's got the speed, but yeah, that's a run there, so it'll be 1-1, one, one, the score. Unfortunate. That's why you don't walk those uh, you, you don't walk those guys, man. You don't walk those guys. So man on third here, one out. Charlie Blackman will come up. Obviously, he's already got a single today. He's one for one with a single this season. 185 batting average, zero home runs, two RBIs, and a 501 OPS. Ah, that's frustrating. Uh, Jenkins is dad's schooner for each end, mate. Sash and Kelson says, sorry, I'm late. Seems like I came in at the worst time of the Rockies scoring. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, we've had five hits to their two. I think five hits to their two or so. So we're still doing all right. Yeah, five hits to two. Uh, still doing all right, but we just can't seem to put those runs in as per usual. And uh, Leader, unfortunately, gave up that uh, really stupid walk before. Base, uh, not base load, sorry. Uh, f um, full count walk. Most hits at Coors Field. Uh, Charlie Blackman is on 8.13. He's second behind Todd Helton, who was 1.394. So a little bit away. Still got over 570 or so to go. Um, but with that being said, 
uh, if he stays here, which I guarantee he probably does, um, he will be taken over the top of that one by the time he is done. Good play here, Jay Blackman. Jesus, 76 is romp the Raptors. 131 to 111. So two and no count here. Man on third. One out, bottom of the third. And that's going to be a ball again. It's well and truly outside. Well and truly outside. Chris Bryant on deck right now and in the hole at CJ Cron. This is very nerve-wracking here. So we've got a three and no count at Charlie Blackman. Man on third, and only the one out. It's going to be a 4-0 walk to Blackman. I don't really mind it, necessarily. Uh, we'd need a double play here for Chris Bryant, but in the same sense, it's Chris Bryant. We know what Chris Bryant can do. He's the buddy Cubby's boy, you know? Uh, they're coming out here to... Um, um, Tommy Hodovy's going to come out here and have a chat to the to Mark Leader Jr. here. Uh, they're not going to get rid of him by any means. They're just going to like slow him down and say, it's right, calm down. You'll be right. So you'll be right. But this is a, a bit of a testing moment here in the bottom third. It's not the fourth yet. It's not the fourth yet, but it's around that fourth area. <laughs> oh, Orioles and Yankees game must have rain. Um, ra must be rain affected right now because the Orioles are up 2-0. It's delayed. Uh, Pirates are leading the Nationals 3-2. The Angels still leading 3-2 over the Rangers. All right, there you go. All right, so next up here, Chrissy Bryant. He's hitting 367 average this year with an 861 OPS. Don't worry, Sasha. We're still going to win. Reese Dumbledore says, I want to see Nets versus 76ers in the conference finals. Uh, possible. Possible, possible, possible. Uh, still going to be... That'll be tough, though. But I, I would love to see it. But also, I wouldn't love to see it because I'm a Bulls fan. I want to see the Bulls. You muppet, how dare you? Get around the Bulls. I know they don't look great at the moment. But we're just leading everyone into a false sense of security, all right? So, shush. And that's going to be swing foul. Oh, and one count there, big boy. Oh, one count. Come on. Let's get him done here. Or a double play. Or a double play. Let's get him done. Or a double play here for Chris Bryant. Man on first. Man on third. In the corners. So no one count here. So no one count. We're on 18 likes right now, guys. Let's try and get up to 20 likes right now. We've got 30 people watching. Appreciate ya. Let's go and hit that thumbs up button. Let's get there. James Harden versus KD. Oh, I think the Nets would be winning that one. And that's going to be a... Oh, they try to throw him out at third there. Wow. Uh, Contreras tries to get him at third. So it'll be a ball. So 1-1 one, one count now. The Braves did end up beating the Padres 5-2, by the way. All right, please. Let's get this double play and end this inning. Let's get the double play and end the inning, please. Please. Lear Jr. here at 45 pitches thrown. Yeah, can't complain. 3-3. Three, three. And swing and a miss. Boom! One and two count. Get my wife's name out of your mouth. Says, hey, Blaze. I swear you were here before, weren't you? Didn't you say hey, Blaze before? Uh, you were. You already said hey, Blaze. Like an hour ago. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you said hey, Blaze an hour ago. So one and two count. Now one out. Lear Jr. 46 pitches thrown. <laughs> you checked his message. But I still saw it. I still saw it. And he's retracted both these messages. I still saw both the messages. I don't know what messages retracted means. I saw all the messages. One, two count. That's in the dirt. And Contreras is ready to rock and roll. He's like, ooh, ooh. Don't you start running. Don't you start running. That's in the dirt. Lucky that Contreras got that before that went through. Otherwise, that would have been a 2-1 ball game. He is like a quarterback. That's absolutely right. So two and two count here for Chris Bryant. I just give him a, get a strike out. <laughs> just as easy as that, you know. Just get a strike out here. Double play, be beautiful though. Swing, double play, double play, double play, double play, double play. He's throwing him there. Nah, he's gonna be safe at first, and it's gonna be ah, uh, Conjo will get in then. Damn it. That is a tough one to turn. Chris Bryant, uh, please start spamming the chat with, and then retracting your message, bro. Um, but that's going to be... Oh, it was close to double play there. It was a tough one to turn, though. He goes out to short. Nico gets it. He throws it on the back of his foot. At least we get A out. But Chris Bryant will be safe at first there. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So they do take the lead here, the Rockies. 
Sammy Brown says, crazy facts. Mike Trout of the Angels. Oh, now you've got Daz, mate, returning. Now you've got Daz, mate, returning. Now says, 426.5 million for 12 years. Trout's contract signed in March 2019. Added two years to the outfielder's existing deal with the Angels and easily remains the highest in MLB history. Yes, it does. So, man on first here, bottom of the third. And that's going to be strike one. Strike one there for CJ Cron, who's on one today. Strike number one. Ryan McMahon on deck right now. Average of 300 so far this season. He's got three home runs, Cedric Ron. Lucas, is that Trout's hospital bill? For this year, yeah. Yeah, for this year. He is injured quite a bit. Up in the air. Oh, it's gone. Ah, uh, it's now 4-1. 4-1, CJ Cron slap that one. That's gone. Fourth home run of the season. Lovely. Just lovely. So we are up 1-0. We walk a man with a... Uh, we walk a man with a uh, full count. Who has not gotten hit all season. And then we proceed to go down 4-1. So it was the foot, it was the fourth inning yesterday for Strowman. It is the third inning today for Mark Leader Jr. It was the fifth inning for... Uh, I can't remember who pitched that first game. Damn it, man. So 4-1 here to the Colorado Rockies. And that's going to be a ball. And that's unfortunate because we were super close to getting a double play there uh, to uh, prevent Chris Bryant from getting on, which would have prevented... That would have been double play to get him all out. And uh, Connor Joe wouldn't have taken the lead there with the 2-1. Uh, but it is what it is. One account here, but that's what their batting lineup does. Like I told you guys, the, the, the Rockies have a really good batting lineup. The Rockies have a uh, a very good batting lineup here. So you gotta you gotta understand, like we are we're we're fine, but the Rockies have a good batting lineup. Alright, so bottom of third here. And it's gonna be a strike. It's gonna be the strike. One, two, please. Uh, I this I know he's gonna strike me out here because he should have got the strike out before, but I know he'll strike him out here because he's already given up the four runs right now. And that's going to be a ball. Please, just please, we just want to see our batting. This is frustrating right now, man. Give us a go. Four runs we've given up here in this inning. Bottom of the third, two and two count, two out. Ryan McMahon here, 0 for 1 today. And that's going to be a ball. Three and two. Full count. Please don't walk him. Uh, Rogers comes up next anyway. He's hitting 0-8-3 this year anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But I still don't want to get anybody else on base here. We've already had long enough here in this uh, bottom of the third. And that's going to be up in the air. That's going to be a hit. No, Jason Hayward. Come on. Beautiful. All right. So unfortunately, that's not a good inning for us there, guys. End of the third. 4-1 uh, is the score. We were at 1-0. And now we're down 4-1. And we've had five hits to three. We've had five hits to three. Uh, we're down 4-1. Um, and that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles right now. Ian Hat will come up next uh, with... Uh, so we've got Ian Hat coming up, then Frankie Schwindel, and then we do have C.S. Suzuki right on after that. So, look, a lineup can still absolutely come back in this game. We're only down by three, going into the top of the fourth. Uh, it is what it is. We're hitting well. We're just going to be able to put those guys in and, and, and put the runners... Um, Put those runners in scoring position uh, back to the home plate. That's all we need to do right now. But unfortunately, uh, we haven't... We got that double play for Wilson Contreras when... We had a man on first and third with one out, and then Contreras, unfortunately, he uh, did get double blade. So, it's all good. Going into the fourth here, still plenty of time. Don't sweat it, man, but let's go and hit that thumbs up button, guys. Subscribe if you are new around here. Obviously, we are here every single day streaming covers of baseball. So, get around it. I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button. But Ian Happ hitting 409 average this year. See, the next couple of guys that we have are hitting very well. Uh, Frank Schwindel, 259, is the worst. And that's still pretty good. Uh, 409 for Ian Happ and, and 400 for Suzuki. So, we're going to get it, man. Don't worry, we're coming. We're coming back. We're coming back. Let's have a look at the other baseball scores while we wait here for this top of the fourth. Uh, so, the Braves game did finish at 5-2 to the Braves with the Padres. The Royals beat the Tigers 3-1 in Kansas. Uh, Red Sox uh, beat the Twins 4-0. Uh, 
Uh, four zero there. Uh, Guardians down uh, four two to the Giants in Cleveland right now. Bottom of the ninth is uh, there, so they need two runs to tie that one up. Uh, Phillies are up ten three over the Marlins in Miami in the top of the ninth. Pirates up three two in the top of the eighth over the Nationals in Pittsburgh. Orioles and Yankees has been delayed. It's two zero to the Orioles right now. Uh, the Angels up three two in Texas over the t- uh, in the top of the seventh. Uh, the Rangers, the Cardinals lead 1-0 over the Brewers in Milwaukee in the bottom of the seventh. The Brewers just have not been hitting well. They got slapped yesterday, 11-1 or something like that, by the Cardinals in Milwaukee. And today they're losing again. Uh, the Rockies obviously up 4-1 over the Cubs at the end of the third. And the Astros-Mariners game just started. Uh, Dodgers-Reds game starts in about, you know, an hour. Uh, it's in about an hour. But that'll be strike one here for Ian Happy Hatman. Let's go the happiest of Hatmans. Come on. So, 0-1 count here. That'll be a 0-2 count now after a strike again. What was that, Pete? That was a slider, wasn't it? Is that a slider? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Show me the slider. Show me that it was a slider so that I know that I was right on the call. And third pitch. That's going to be in the dirt. That'll be in the dirt. So, 1-2 and two count now for Ian Happ. Uh, it was a change-up. See, that's what I'm talking about. So similar to a slider there. <laughs> I got it wrong, man. I got it wrong, man. It's just what I'm talking about. So one and two count now. That's in the dirt. Well, not in the dirt. Sorry, but that's a ball. So two and two count now. Come on, Ian Hap. Come on, Ian Hap. We want to see a big-time hit. Come on. Two and two count now for Ian Hap. 55 pitches thrown for Sensatella through four, so he won't last a great deal longer, in my opinion. And that's going to be another ball. Three and two, full count. Come on, Hap. Let's get a lead-off walk here. Let's get a lead-off walk here, or just a lead-off nice little dink. Lead-off nice little dinky dink into shallow right field. How about that? Or a double. Right center field. Big bong. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. And that's going to be hit, and that's going to be out. Damn it. That's going to be hit, and that's going to be out. Straight to the Brendan Rogers. Straight to Brendan Rogers there, and then he's out at first. So second baseman throws him to first. And there'll be one out here. Frank Schwindel will come up now. He's over one today with one out. So, all right, Frank Schwindel, this time he's going to get something. Reese Dumbledore's BKR's food reviews. I actually have done food reviews on BKR Travel before where I did uh, Portillo's uh, in Chicago, which was amazing. Ooh, strike one. Good fastball there from Cinderella. So that'll be a on-one count here to Frankie Schwindel. Uh, he's at 259 batting average this year. The one home run on game one of the series. Three RBIs. Swing. Drop, 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 go, 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 go. Yeah, double for Frankie Schwindel. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get it, baby. Now we're talking. That's a double there for Frankie Schwindel. Now we're talking. Frankie, Frankie Schwindel. We love him. We love him. Frankie, Frankie Schwindel. We love him. We love him. Get around, Frankie. Good. I told you. Nice little double out right center field. I know I said it for Ian Happ, but I'm taking it for uh, Frankie Schwindel. Taking it for Frankie Schwindel. Suzuki comes up now. Oh, can you just imagine an absolute ding right now? Double in the, when he came into the second. This season, 400 batting average with three home runs, 10 RBIs and 1.469 OPS. Wasn't playing yesterday. so And he got intentionally walked in a pinch hit yesterday. So uh, through six games so far, or six games and one at bat, uh, he has had 10 RBIs. Like, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous here for C. Suzuki. So hopefully we can get something going here. He gets on, or he goes bigger than Jason Hayward. Goes for a little slap. And Suzuki will let that go for a strike. It's going to be an 0-2 count here. No, it's a 1-1 count. Forget me. Don't don't listen to me. I know you're here to listen to me, but don't listen to me. 1-1 count. Top of the fourth, man on second. Suzuki will let that go for a strike. 1-2 count. <sighs> One and two here for Suzuki. He's very patient, though. I know that he knows where this pitch is going, so... Uh, he will let this one, he, he lets it miss pretty easily. He's not like a Harvey Byers who will just go for a swing regardless. The old Harvey. Oh, no. Okay, well, forget me. <laughs> that hurt me. <laughs> that hurt me watching that one. He just swung at something that was nowhere near. That hurt me. I literally just said he's usually really patient. and <laughs> He won't swing at not, uh, stuff that's nowhere near. And then he goes and swings at that. Oh, that's a bad swing. That's a really bad swing there. Is that a slider? 
Please tell me that's a slider. Please tell me I'm right there and calling that a slider. Uh, that is a slider. E -e 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 -e. Told you. Uh -huh. Slider. I got it right. I got it right. I did. So man on second here, and Jason Hayward's at the strike. He's on plate right now. So it'll be a one no count there after Santa Tella throws a high fastball above the zone. Come on, Jason. Just get a nice little base hit. Let's bring it to a 4 2 ball game. And swing. Oh, foul. Swing foul. On deck would be Paddy Wisdom if we can get Jason Hayward on here. They've been big because uh, Pat Wisdom has been very good so far. Uh, well, he was good yesterday. He hasn't been good this season, but yesterday was very good, and he's already got a hit today. Hit and a run. This season for Jason Hayward, 267 batting average, still no home runs or RBIs. I wouldn't really expect a great deal of home runs out of Jason Hayward, though. Let's be honest. And that's going to be... Oh, check swing, please. You know. One-on-one -on -one count. One-on-two count. He did say that he went there, unfortunately. He did, unfortunately, say that he went there. Damn it. So, one and two count. Two out. And Jason Hayward lets that one go for a ball. So, it'll be two and two count now. I just want to see him get on base so Pat Wisdom can come on and slap it. Because we know Pat Wisdom's good for a slap. This game, for me, can't go past three and a half hours, too, by the way. Because the NRL starts at 1.45 today. And swing, draw. It's going to go straight to the right fielder, unfortunately. Damn it. That's going to go straight to right field. All right. So that inning is done, guys. Uh, well, sorry. The middle of the fourth is done. And the Cubs, unfortunately, cannot progress the, the man from second. Uh, we do get that nice hit there for uh, Frankie Schwindel that gets the double. But unfortunately, uh, even with just the one out, uh, Suzuki was not able to do it. And to, was, Suzuki was struck out. And then Haywood uh, flew out to popped up to right field there. So, uh, unfortunately, yet again, we get another hit. We just can't score the run. 6-3 in regards to hits to the Cubs today. We are still playing fine. We are still playing well. But, unfortunately, we just can't drive in those runs at the moment. And uh, that one inning is what's going to mess up again. The Rockies have not been consistent throughout their games, but they just have that one inning where they just decide to go crunch on us. Um, and that's what they did yesterday in the fourth with their five runner. And that's what they did today in the third with their four runner. That's what we've really got to uh, be careful of in future. We're just going to stop and prevent them from getting these significant uh, these significant totals um, in one individual inning. But it is what it is. We'll be right. We'll be right, especially when we go home to Pittsburgh on Tuesday. We've still got another game here tomorrow, however. Tomorrow there will be another game in uh, Colorado. That'll be the final game of the four-game series. Uh, and I'm not too sure, would it be Carl Hendricks tomorrow? I'm going to go have a look at the MLB lineups here, actually. Uh, projected lineups. MLB lineups. I think my, Hendricks might be uh, ready for tomorrow. Because when was his last game? Get the doctor in. Get the doctor in, man! Uh, can I see tomorrow? No. Um, all right, Cubs projected pitches. Pretty certain it's probably his rotation. Cubs probable pitches. Here we go. So, Leah Jr. today, uh, and then tomorrow is Drew Smiley. They're going to use Smiley here. Are you sure? All right, so they're going to use Drew Smiley there for the Cubs tomorrow against the uh, the Rockies, and then, unless he's Hendri Hendricks isn't injured, is he? He's not. He has looked a bit shaky to start the season, though. He has. But Austin Gomba, with a 5.79 ERA, is what the Rockies are looking like they're going to go with tomorrow, and Drew Smiley uh, with a z zero ERA and 1-0 and oh right now. Okay, well, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we are officially talking. Here's the truth. We are talking now. All right. So that's going to be strike one here to... Is that Charlie Blackman is out there? Uh, is this Charlie Blackman? I don't know. I think it is, isn't it? No, it's Bre Rogers. Sorry. Rogers. They look very similar. Forget me. So next pitch there will be another strike. So it'll be an 0 2 count here to Brent Rogers. Like I said, he's only hitting uh, 0 9 8, is it? 0 8 3. Uh, so far this season, so only hitting the zero eight three, oh two count, and that's gonna be a swing. That should be out here. It's actually not easy, but we. Oh no, we don't get him. Damn it! Uh, Paul Swindell off the base there, but I think Rogers was fast enough to get there anyway. So that's gonna be a hit there for uh, Rogers, which will probably take him above the a hundred mark now. 
Uh, it takes him to uh, 120. Yep, it takes him to 120. There you go. Takes him to 120 there. That was a difficult play there, but unfortunately the Cubs have fallen a little bit away in this last couple of innings, which is unfortunate. So who comes up now? It'll be Sam Hilliard with a 200 batting average. I was pretty fast running though, you know. You can't really complain too much there. And it's gonna be oh no. No, please go for foul, please go for foul, please go for foul, please go for foul, please go for foul. I don't know where the ball is. It is gonna be a foul, but geez, that was right down the line. Everyone was watching, we didn't know what was happening there. But it will be a foul nonetheless. Thank God. Needed that one. Oi oi oi. Oi, oi, oi. Man on first. And that's ball. So 1-1 one, one count now. I tell you what, last year would have been so difficult to stream a full season of the Cubs. Last year would have been an incredibly tough time. Blackmore says, see ya. Yeah, see ya. Unfortunately, he struck out in the last one, but he had a good double in that... Uh, he got a good double in the second inning of the game. See a Suzuki, uh, but he did get struck out in the last inning in the in the to uh, top of the fourth. So uh, need him to be doing a bit better than that strikeout when it was a really weird pitch too. It was nowhere near the zone. Um, but in the same sense, see a Suzuki, very good player there, Blackmore. So one one count now. We love him here in Chicago. Man on first, bottom of the fourth, and that's going to be a swing and a miss. A big chopperuno. That's a curveball there. Nice little whoopa. Nice little whoopa. Boom. Underneath. That was really nice, actually. That really didn't look like it was going to drop as significantly as it did, but it did. And it was a nice, it was slow as, too. Slow balls are actually not easy to hit, guys. A lot of people think that slow balls make it easier. Not necessarily. The slower you get, the more odd it is, because usually you're expecting a fastball. Majority of the time, like, batters are expecting the ball to just get zipped past them. So getting that real slow ball sometimes can really catch them out. So two and two count now. Man on first. Bottom of the fourth. Zero out. Leader Jr. with, uh, I think it's Lighter Jr., but we'll call him Lighter Jr., 63 pitches, and that's going to be 64 pitches and a full count. So three and two, full count now. I would love a double play. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I would love a double play. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Do not let him get on with a walk, please. Please don't let him get on with a walk here. Full count to Sam Hilliard. Strike me out, please. We would love a strike out here. He's going to throw back to first to prevent the runner from going. <sighs> Hilly over one today. I don't want to be seeing the two guys with the worst batting averages on the on the team uh, getting on here. Uh, well, to be fair, Blackman's second worst, but uh, we know Blackman's a lot better than 185 hitter. So Hilly in here, full ca oh, it's a ball to walk. He started to lose his control a lot more here, Leader Jr., Lighter Jr., he started off really well, uh, but he's kind of falling apart a little bit right now in the bottom of the fourth. Well, bottom of the third, sorry. He started off that first two innings quite well, though. He did. The first two was done quite well. Uh, All Sports Fan says, how are the Cubs looking? Uh, we might need your lucky hat. Uh, yeah, I'm not wearing the Cubbies hat right now. Where is the Cubbies hat, actually? Oh, I think I put it up there. I cleaned, cleaned the room yesterday, so I put the hat up there. Uh, that's, that's, uh, oh, he's going to call as a ball there. Uh, Cubs aren't looking bad, man. The pitching's not looking great right now, but the batting is still looking fine. We've got six hits. Like, we're still seeing some good connections with the bat, but it's our pitching that, unfortunately, keeps falling down around this now three, but yesterday it was four, five, three, four, five marker. This area is not good for our pitching, and it's going to be a hit, and it's going to be a score, I would say. Or maybe not. This could be good fielding here. This could be good fielding here. No, it's going to be a good score. So it's going to be five, one here. It's our pitching right now, man. Our batting's doing fine. Our batting's got six hits right now, but they're giving away the pitching. It's now six, five. In regards to hitting, it's now going to be five, one in regards to score. No, they didn't go home. No. I was right. They didn't go home. Sorry, I listened to the commentary. This is why I don't listen, try to listen to the commentary too much because they, they, they say stuff that they assume. And it's like, I didn't think he was going to have time to get home there. 
And we did go home. What are they? Why is the score not updated then? It should, it's going to be 6-1. Uh, it's 5-1. I'm all over the shot. Forget me, you muppets. Forget me. I'm just angry. I'm just angry here. Tommy Hodovy's going up here and talking uh, to Elida Jr. at the mound. We've got a man in, men in the corners for the Rockies right now. Bottom of the fourth and no one out. This is very frustrating. But then again, the Rockies have a good batting lineup. Nunes with a walk. And by the way, that is what's happened in this, uh, in this inning so far. It's just been multiple walks. Plus, obviously, that hit just then. But two walks and a hit. And uh, Nunes has already been walked today. So, like I said, we did well with Lai Jr. for the first two innings. And then after that, it's not been the greatest. No. No, 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 no. All right. Lai Jr. 67 pitches thrown so far. Man on first and third. Nunes at the... Uh, oh, that's up in the air. That should be easy. Jason Hayward. Hayward's got this. Hayward's got this. Bingo. And they're going to try and run it. Get him out. Oh, no. It's a score. Sack fly. 6-1. It's now 6-1 to the Rockies. Just pain. Just painful. Savio says, slow pitching is usually curved, knuckle, and change. Thanks, bro. So, 6-1 score here. The Rockies, man on first. Connor Joe comes up now. Just the one out there now. But... At least it's just the man on first and not in corners anymore, but the guy in the corner <laughs> did score. So 6 1 is the score here to the Rockies, unfortunately. And that's going to be a good strike there. Drops in. It's going to be an 0 1 count here. This is what you were expecting too, though, because Lionel Jr. had been progressed from the AAA today, and also it's at Coors Field. It's not like we're at. Uh, it's not like we're in an easy stadium here for for pitching as well for a guy who's just come back from a quite a while out. Like he did do well in spring training and whatnot, but it is what it is, man. You know, Coors Field is a bit of a um, baptism of fire when you're just coming up from the Triple A. Uh, but. I think he's been good. I just think that he, yeah, he faltered. Uh, he, wa sorry, wavered around that three, that the, the third inning, up in the air, foul. So it'll be a one or two count now. So he's a speed pitch and go four seam, and it's, uh, he's retracting his message. Reese Dumbler says, "Isn't it funny how everyone thought that LeBron was going to Golden State because he said he would like to play with Curry?" No, it's not funny because no one thought that. No one thought that. Anyone who thought that, well, people thought that, but that's because they're casuals. That was never happening. It was it never ever ever happening. Um, and anyone who thought that is a bit strange, to be honest with you, uh, because that's not what LeBron said. LeBron didn't say that. That's not hit what he was referring to. That's going to be strike three there. Wow, he's not going to call that. He's going to call a ball, but it should have been strike three. So two and two count here. LeBron was asked a question, and the question stated, if you had the chance to play with anyone in the NBA right now, who would you play with? Who would you want to play with? And he said, Curry. That's it. It's just a fantasy question. He wasn't saying, I want to go to the Golden State Warriors with Curry. Like, it, it, that's not what he was saying. It's funny that people misinterpret that and misread it for their own intentions. He never, ever said he wanted to go, go to the Golden State Warriors. He never would go to the Golden State Warriors. And Curry and LeBron know this is never going to be a thing. It was just a fantasy question that people, the media turned into a thing. It was not anything besides that. It's because it's LeBron, of course, and me is going to do what they can to to get a story out of him. So full count here, one out, and it's going to be run out second. Oh, my God. So it's going to be a walk here. Man on first, man on second. I'd nearly take him out at this point, man. Contreras would have had, they would have had him if, if um... oh, man. We actually would have got him there. Villa, if he catches that ball, we, we, we would have got the, the, the runner at second. We would have got the runner at second. This is just one of those games, guys, unfortunately. If he gets, the, if he catches that, that's out. If he catches that at second, he's out. So they're, they're coming over here to have a chat to, to Lyder Jr. I think he's going to be gone here, and they will get rid of him, yeah. So Mark Lyder Jr. will be going here, guys. 
in the bottom of the fourth, unfortunately. Really, really quick. Really, really quick. Frustrating game, this one, ladies and gentlemen. While we wait here for the pitching change, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. But if you're a Cubs fan, uh, you are not having a good time right now because I'm not having a good time right now. <laughs> uh, all sports fans, where's LeBron James' likely destination, do you guys think? Um, I would say his likely destination would be uh, wherever Bron goes. Wherever Bronny goes. That's about it, really, man. He will stay at the Lakers until Bronny comes in. And he will arguably screw over his own son, realistically, because I don't believe his son should be a one-and-done kind of prospect. I think his son really should have a few years in the uh, collegiate system. Um, I don't think he's anywhere near ready yet. But because of, you could argue, Bron's uh, selfish idea, thought process of playing with his son, it's actually going to screw over his process. And he'll probably go down to the G League as soon as LeBron goes. But a, a team will be too... Uh, there will be no way that a team passes up the financial opportunity of having LeBron play alongside Bronny. Uh, there is absolutely no way. It'll be a terrible team, um, but it, it, it'll help them for one year with LeBron going hard and Bronny coming in. But I'm just throwing it out there. That'll be uh, it, it's it's actually going to be a detriment to his own son's. Um, it'll be a detriment to his own son's uh, progress, in my personal opinion. But you know, that's just that's like I said, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. But all right, so just waiting here for the pitching change, guys. This is obviously not a fantastic game here with the Cubs right now. Not a fantastic game at all. <laughs> we've, even though we've got the same amount of hits as them, not a fantastic game at all here for the Cubs right now. So Jesse Chavez will be coming in here, guys. Jesse Chavez will be coming in with a 40.5 ERA. Lovely. That's not what you like to see. A 40.5 ERA. You joke him. All sports fans say it's not over yet, but this game could be out of reach. No, it's not out of reach, mate. Is there any way for the Cubbies to save this game? Y yeah, it's it's 6-1. Like, guys, we're only in the bottom of the fourth. Like, there's still five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So five innings to go. Like, there's, there's plenty of time. Absolutely plenty of time for this game to be changed. Do I think it will happen? Not necessarily. Um, but there's still plenty of time for this game to be changed. So, Jesse Chavez here, guys... Plenty of time. Jesse Chavez this season, one game, innings at 0.2, 40.5 ERA, opponent home runs, one, strikeout percentage, 20%, uh, walk percentage is 20%, and ground ball percentage is 0%. And that's going to be a hit by Charlie Blackman. And this pitcher, Jesse Chavez, is not doing well, eh? Base is loaded. Oh, jeez. Cole Hyatt says, James, the Pistons confirmed. <laughs> hey, Jesse Chavez, hey, can you get a slack out, man? Get away the strike cat, man. Stop giving up hits. He comes in and that's... Oh, sorry, that was a run. That was a run there. Let's, let's go to run. Don't worry about me. Let's go to run there. Let's go to run. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Man on buddy second and man on third. You are jo No, man on first and second. Ignore me. Damn it, man. All sports fans are 7-1 now. Yep, and? And? What's your point? And Jesse Chavez will let that be a double play, double play, double play, double play, double play. Boom, boom, bing, bing, boom. I hate this inning, but bing, bing, boom, baby. End of the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. Plenty of time to go here, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe when you're around here. Do it immediately. I want you to do it immediately. If you do not subscribe, then your team is going to lose every single game for the rest of the, your life. You don't want that. You do not want that. So hit that subscribe button. And let's get rocking and rolling here. Because it's the top of the fifth, and the Cubs are going to come out, and we're going to go slap, we're going to go boom, we're going to go bing, we're going to go boom. That's exactly what we're going to do right now in the top of the fifth. And you're going to like it. You're going to love it. Even if you're a Rockies fan, you're just going to be like, wow, that was just impressive. That was really, really impressive to watch. And I, I agree. It would have been. All sports fans are making you Cubs coach, man. Leave it to me. Uh, what? Someone here said, I don't think James is moving to the Lakers. Uh, he will when Bron gets, Bronny gets selected. Bronny, and when Bronny gets selected, he absolutely will. Uh, but until then, I don't think he'll go anywhere, no. I don't think he'll go anywhere until Bronny gets selected. Um, so whichever team wants the financial impact of what that means, then that'll happen. But that's still a little bit away there. That's still a little bit away. 91% <laughs> of the vote's still there for the, for the Gubbies. <laughs> oh, dear me. Cole Hyatt says, Rockies vs. Blue Jays World Series. Wow. Uh, no. Um, no to the Rockies. I, I actually don't mind the Blue Jays, though, Cole. I, I think the Col the Blue Jays are sneaky. I think they really are a sneaky, Cole. Um, 
I think that a lot of people want to go for, you know, a bit more. Actually, let's go have a look at the odds. I want to go have a look at the odds for what the World Series is looking like right now. Uh, we're just waiting at the top of the fifth, guys. Like I said, thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, but I don't mind the Blue Jays. Uh, I think the Dodgers are going to be too good, brother. I think the Dodgers are just going to be simply too good. Um, but I could also... And we'll see how it goes. Let's go have a look at the baseball. Let's go have a look at the betting odds. Uh, so, the baseball up the coming. Uh, baseball, and let's go to upcoming. Uh, no, all baseball, MLB, World Series. Here we go. All right, so uh, the favorite will be the Dodgers. Yeah, the Dodgers are $5.50. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays are eight fifty, so they're not even the sneaky anymore. Forget me. <laughs> yeah, forget me, but I think the Blue Jays do do it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, Dodgers and Blue Jays are probably the shout. But if you want to go two random teams, okay, let's look around. Milwaukee Brewers, get out of here. Get get them out of the top ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Brewers are the, the eighth place team here for the best odds to win the World Series. Get out of here, please. Please remove yourself from my face. And that's going to be a ball. That's going to be a ball there to uh, Paddy Wisdom. That should have been a strike, but it'll be one no count here. He's hitting 167 batting average this year, but he's got a single and a run in today's game and was good yesterday with two hits. Uh, and then that's going to be swing, drive, 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 Come on! That's going to be a double there for Paddy Wisdom. Lead off. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That ball was crushed. I'm telling you, we have two home runs today. We have two home runs today in most places. That's like 418, 20 foot, that, that, that hit just then. That is a solid slap by Paddy Wisdom out center field there. Anywhere else on the field, and that's a homer, man. Damn it, dude. That's unfortunate. That's a huge hit. So White Sox are third. They won't do it, man. Um, I think it's, uh, the, the sneakiest of options would be, outside of those two obvious in Blue Jays and Dodgers, Oh, that's going to be a strike one there for Nego Horner. Come on, we just need a base hit, man. Just get us back in the game. Just slow it down, base hit. Base hit, slow it down, base hit. Get it back in the game. Base hit, slow us, get it back in the game. Uh, don't mind the Giants. Don't mind the Giants. Uh, Padres are also a good shout. And that's going to be a swing from Nego Horner. So that'll be a 0-2 count now. Big swing. Big swing, big miss. Outside of those two, for the NL, I'll say... You could go maybe the Giants. I'd say maybe the Giants. And for the AL, I'd probably look at... Oh, man. It's hard. It's... Nah. Nah, I'm probably going to stick with the Blue Jays. <laughs> All right, so top of the fifth here. Man on second swing. Nigga Horner, and that'll be a foul. Probably leaving with the Blue Jays there. Uh, all sports fans, I heard some big ass rumors. He was leaving my bat. I guess the Gosman is hype because it's all fresh and the Lakers is so bad. He's not leaving this year. Reese Dumbledore says, can the Lakers draft Bronny or do they have no draft picks? Mate, the Lakers have uh, about as many draft picks as I have games I've played in the NBA. Uh, Desmond says, Reece, we don't have a pick until 2100... <laughs> 2145. All right, so 0-2 count here for uh, Nico Horner. Man on second scoring position is Paddy Wisdom. Come on, let's get it here. Let's get it. Let's get it going, baby. Let's get this going. Let's get back in the game. And swing, and that's going to be a foul again. Uh, Der Flow Flow says, hello, 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 Der Flow Flow. Are you a Cubbies fan? Are you a Rockies fan? Or are you a Cubbies fan? I reckon you should be a Cubbies fan. Uh, but maybe not so much now. But I also hate that I'm seeing an ad for Wendy's right now because I'm in Australia and I can't have it at Wendy's. Starview says Mets. I was I was looking at the Mets, but I also think maybe not because the Mets. Swing and a miss in the dirt there, and it will be out. He'll be out. He'll be gone. So Nico Horner not been great in this series so far. Uh, Dazmay says Angels with the 14th best odds to win the World Series. This has to be a joke. You do have Shohei Itani and you do have Mike Trout, so you're you're obviously going to get some good. Um, Odds there, but also you're the Angels. So you're it's like it's like a bit of the potato and a bit of the potato. You, you know, you got a bit of the good, you got a bit of the bad. You know, so you got a bit of the 14th best odds, but you've also got a bit of a how the hell are you that high? <laughs> so top of the fifth, man on second, swinging a miss by Rafael Ortega. Def Lovos, so Rockies fan. Oh no, nah, it's all good. I have no problem with the Rockies at all. 
You will hear, obviously, me supporting the Cubbies today. Um, but I have no problem with the Rockets. Obviously, I love my boy Chrissy Bryant, who plays for you guys. And that's going to be a ball. Oh, strike. Wrong call there, Mr. Umpire. Uh, Cole says, Mets are the Mets, if you know what I mean. No, that's exactly what I was saying, Cole. That's exactly what I was saying, big fella. That's exactly what I was saying. So I was like, I looked at the Mets and I was like, you know, uh, maybe, uh, probably not. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I want to count here. It's like, ooh, Mets looks, no, no, no. Be smarter, Blaze. Be smarter. Be smarter. No, Mets look good. No, no. Don't look over there. Don't, don't look over there. They promise a lot. They deliver a little. No, don't look over there. Don't look over there. So 7-1 is the score here to the Rockies, but it's going to be a 1-2 and two count here to Raphael Tega. Paddy Wisdom has had a leadoff for the double in his last two at-bats, and we have not progressed him with no outs. It's not very fun here. Not fun today. Reese Allen says, why would a team trade their whole future for one championship? Uh, because one championship is not guaranteed ever in your lifetime, so you'll take it. Hmm? I know, it's crazy, but... Look at the Cubs, 1908 to 2016. You could have been born in 1909 and had lived a full 106-year life. 106-year life, 26 longer years longer than the average lifespan and still never seen the Cubs win the World Series. So taking a championship at any stage is a victory in my books. I know it sucks for the future, but I'm taking the ship. If the Bulls wanted to get rid of everyone for one championship, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. So please, <laughs> just win a championship with the Bulls. You know? I don't care how we do it. I just want to do it. So top of the fifth year, man, man on second. Two and two count. Who cares about the future if you win? The whole point of the future is to win. So get rid of the future to win now. And that's going to be up from Rafael Ortega, but that'll be out left field, I think. Yeah, that'll be out left field. That'll be out left field there. So two out, man on second, top of the fifth. Savvy says the Mets are strapped. They are, but they're also the Mets, as Cole outlined there. As Cole outlined, they are also the Mets, which is something you do have to factor in there. Uh, Jeff Lofalo says, I'm happy so far how the season is starting for my Rockies. I would be. I would also be slightly concerned about the pitching, uh, but the batting, absolutely, you'd be happy with. Uh, but I'd be slightly concerned with the pitching because the Cubs have been still getting quite a few hits. You go up against a better team, and uh, they're probably putting these runs in, uh, which makes this game much closer. Uh our pitching has been a little bit down, but in the same sense, your batting lineup is very good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with CJ Cron, uh, with Chrissy Bryant. Um, oh, that's going to be a ball. That should have been a strike there. That should have been a strike, but you kind of Joe, Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman's actually been down. He's not actually been that great so far. Uh, but it's just the pitching that I, I, I look at for the Rockies. And I think that always is the problem with the, the Rockies. The batting has always been a decent lineup for me. It's always been the pitching, in my opinion, with the Rockies. And that's another ball. So uh, two and I count here. Lucas says, but also, I'm saying, I think the Rockies have been doing pretty well, but you just got to sort out your pitching issues. you got to sort, sort out your pitching issues. Issues. All right, so man on second here, top of the fifth. Two out, two and no count. And it's going to be another ball. That's going to be three and no count here. Okay, we'll take it. Contreras will come up here. We'll get a walk here, hopefully, for Villa. He's a three and no count here. Get a walk. Contreras comes up and he goes... Gone. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. I'm sorry, Jeff Lofo, but he's going to do it. He's going to have to do it. You know, I'm sorry. Dad says, I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Dad says, we should have kept Lonzo, though. But you, <coughs> you didn't. <coughs> I wonder where he is, eh, that's mate? And that's going to be a swing. That's going to be a bounce. And that's going to be a foul. So, 3-1 count now. Uh, all sports fan Adam says, Blaze loves the Rockies. You're in safe hands. He doesn't mind them beating the... No, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I do mind them beating the Cubbies. I don't want anyone to beat the Cubs. But if it's Astros, then expect incredible Hulk, yo, and rages from hell. I don't want any team to beat the Cubs. Astros, I don't like the Astros because they're cheaters. But I, it's it's the Car the Cardinals and Brewers who are not, I'm not a big fan of. But I tell you, those streams will get hectic, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, we'll get hectic streams with the chat when... Oh, good swing! Oh, it's going to be out, damn it. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. So that's going to be out. So middle of the fifth here, guys, and the Cubs... <coughs> get another hit. We're leading 7-6 in the hits, but we're down 7-1 in the runs. Yikes. I just don't like the Astros because they cheated. I don't like the Cardinals and the Brewers because of their fans. Dazmate says, top two Laker of all time he is. Who, me? 
Lucas says Russ trade was woeful though. If you kept Coos, it would have been way better. They had the chance to get to Marta Rosen, um, and they also had the chance to get to Kyle Lowry, and they got Russell Westbrook. But Westbrook was, you know, it's all good in hindsight, guys. All good in hindsight. Westbrook is still a legend of the game. Did some amazing things over the years. Um, you cannot tell me that preseason you thought it was going to go this bad. You cannot tell me that preseason you thought it was going to go this bad, but it did. Uh, hindsight is a great thing. And also, Westbrook was not the only reason they were that bad this year. It was a major, major difference in regards to thought processes and opinions and, and, and differences of uh, the direction of the Lakers. So, yeah, it's unfortunate for the Lakers, but I'm not blaming Russell Westbrook individually for that. Uh, he also did still get some good stats to his name. Yes, he's not the most you know friendly in regards to team playing. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that there is a lot of issues at the Lakers rather than just Russell Westbrook, and he is still a legend of the game, and hindsight is a great thing. Dirk Flobo says, yeah, we have a little pitching problem, but so far our batters save us. Yes, so far your batters save you, but what I will say is that the Colorado Rockies haven't really played a big-time team yet. You know, as a Cubs fan, I would like to think that we are a big-time team. We're not just yet. Uh, we are still in a massive... We're at the beginning of a rebuild. You know, we are... We're trying to come out of the rebuild, but we're also at the beginning of the rebuild. Um, we've also been quite positive, in my opinion, so far. Uh, you did... Add, well, to be fair, you did... No, you lost to the Dodge. No, you beat... You did beat the Dodgers. I didn't see that. You did beat the Dodgers. 2-1. You beat them... Five, they lost, you lost 5-3 opening day, but then you won 3-2, and then you won 9-4. That's actually not too bad. Uh, but then you beat the Rangers. That's cool. You lost the Cubbies on game one. It's it's fitty fitty. You, you've done pretty well, actually. You have done pretty well. I won't disagree with you, actually. You have done pretty well. Durflo, if his Lakers problem wasn't the AD trade, it, it was the Russ trade. I'm not a Russ hater, but it wasn't the best decision for the future. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. It was not. It was, Russ is a major problem, but it wasn't individually the Russ problem. Cole High says, are the Dodgers going to end up like the Lakers? No, the Dodgers are not going to end up like the Lakers, bro. No way. What are they like? They've been doing well this year, haven't they? Besides those two games against the Rockies where they lost. Uh, they're 5-2 right now, bro. What do you mean? What are you talking about, Willis? What are you talking about, Willis? Shit, man. What are you talking about, man? They haven't really played anyone yet, though. They haven't. Besides the Rockies, they haven't really played anyone yet. Uh, Chad says, I'm so confused. It's not the World Series, but there are seven games. No, there's four games, and this is how baseball works. We are seven games in right now. Wait, what? how many games is this in? For, how, what are you, four and three? Five, six, seven? This is the eighth game. That's going to be a strike there for CJ Cron. So Jesse Chavez is pitching right now, guys. CJ Cron is at the plate. Uh, the World Series is a long way away, Jazza. A long way away, buddy. <laughs> And that's going to be a swing. That's going to be another hit. No, it's not. It's going to be right field. Taken down by Sia Suzuki. Let's go. Let's go. Don't forget, guys, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. We're here every single day. We'll be here tomorrow for the Cubbies and the Rockies game four, plus also Bulls and Bucks. Chicago Bulls versus the Milwaukee Bucks in game number one of the playoffs. Dadman says, when LBJ leaves, you would think AD is gone as well. You would assume so, yeah. All sports fans, says, nobody expected the Lakers to suck so bad. Even the bookies who price up the NBA win odds got it so wrong. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Absolutely. See, that's that's exactly right there. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Everyone keeps saying, oh, I love the Lakers. Oh, yeah, why would you get Westbrook? It's like preseason, Westbrook was a good trade. Preseason, people were liking the trade. Preseason, they thought, wow, this is going to be it. Now, it's not because they saw what happened in the year. Cool. Hindsight's a great thing. So, 1-1 one, one count there will be a foul to Ryan McMahon, who's 0 for 2 today. Nine pitches thrown so far for Chavez. Uh, Def Flow Flow uh, says the Lakers need a very good offseason. Yeah, they do need to really uh, tweak a few things. Um, but what I always say, it's going to be a ball, so it'll be a 2-1 count here. What I always say is that you need a great mixture of youth and experience. Too much youth and you won't have the experience to win the close games. Or you won't have the experience to be able to beat the good teams. Too much experience, you don't have any excitement there. It's just bland. Strike, 2-2 two two count. It's just bland. You know, you're not able to... Uh, have the same pace as these younger teams. You know, have, have, have the same energy as these younger guys. So you're going to get beaten, which is what the Lakers did this year. You need to have a mixture of both. You can't have one over the other, just single. So that's my opinion in regards to what we saw this year with the, with the Lakers. And I know all about this with the Titans, uh, Gold Coast Titans in the NRL, Rugby League, a different sport, Australia. But um, my other team is very similar to that in regards to too much youth, but still growing through the team. If you're on you, oh, that's a good hit. That's going to be a man on first now. That's a really nice, solid hit there. Uh, that's a really nice, solid hit there through center field. And uh, that'll be the first hit of the night here for Ryan McMillan. 
Uh, Padres, Cole, that's a good shout. Yeah, that's a good shout. Lucas says, free season, it was 50-50. No one thought they would be this bad, but lots of people did think that Ross was a horrible fit. Yeah, people also thought that Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan weren't going to be able to get anything going there. Then they did for three quarters of the season, or half of the season, and then have kind of gone to what people expected uh, for the the next part. Um, but there is still a long way to go here. There is still a lot. There, well, there's not a long way to go. There's a the playoffs. Um, playoffs is a different ball game, baby. Playoffs is a different ball game. The Flow Flow says, I'm not a Lakers fan, but I like Reeves. Austin Reeves, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, they have young talent, but also didn't really utilize the young talent, is what I'm saying. So, seven ones to score here to the Rockies. A one out, a one and no count. A man on first, bottom of the fifth. And it is Brandon Rogers here, who's one for two today. Up in the air, foul. One and one count. Lucas Paul's missing Lonzo. Yes, but also the entire season we've been saying, oh, once the injuries come back, we'll be good because the beginning half of the season we had all our players pretty healthy. And then uh, even when we had players injured, we were still winning games and doing really well, getting buzzer beaters and back-to-back nights through DeMar. And then we had a heap of injuries and we just haven't been able to get that momentum back even with the injuries coming back. And we lost that momentum around that halfway point, unfortunately. So it's been very difficult to bring it back, uh, which sucks. But at least we made the playoffs. Unlike the Lakers, eh, Taz? Dazmate says we might hold the record for the fastest way to destroy a championship team. True. True. But what the reason I said that to Lonzo is because, like, yeah, Lonzo is a big part of the team. But with that being said, I don't believe just because we don't have Lonzo is the reason we're falling apart so badly. I think it's just because the confidence went down after that halfway point of the season. So that's going to be another ball there. Jesse Chavez has not been a pitching well at all. It's a 3-1 count now. And I've been pitching well at Hall, and they're looking at the bullpen again already. And that's going to be up in the air. That should be an easy one there for center fielder. Jason Haywood, easy days, baby. Easy days. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Gone. Got him. So that'll be two out now with the man on first still. Definitely to end to create it. Yeah, true. Yeah, the Lakers were the, fast, the record for the fastest way to destroy a championship team and also to create it. Which of these is your favorite Rocky food? Rocky Mountain Oysters? That sounds good. Rocky Road Ice Cream? Oh, how good is that? Rocky Mountain Chocolate or Pop Rocks? I've got to be going to Rocky Road Ice Cream here, baby. But that Rocky Mountain Oysters sounds, buddy, delicious. But Rocky Road Ice Cream, that's got to be the way to go. That's got to be the way to go. Oh, that's a good fastball there by Jesse Chavez. Every time I see Duncan... Obviously, Dunkin' Donuts, I think the Dunkin' Race at the Bulls. Hopefully, tomorrow... Oh, it's not in Chicago tomorrow, so we will not have the Dunkin' Race, unfortunately, guys. But we get wild with the Dunkin' Race, if you know what I'm talking about. The Dunkin' Race is, is, a, is a race between the cup of coffee, the cuppy coffee, the Biggie Bagel, and the... Um, oh, cup of coffee, Biggie Bagel, and the Dashing Donut. And we go crazy, man. We commentate it like crazy. Tell ya. It's a crazy time. So, unfortunately, it won't be there tomorrow, but it will be there for that next game again with the Bulls. And Chavez will throw a ball. So two and one count now. Man on first. Two out. Uh, Dirt Flow Flow says, have the Lakers a pick in this draft? The Lakers don't have a pick until I turn 86. Dazmate says, Lonzo's better than that MJ guy that played the 90s for the Bulls. I don't like you. <laughs> so two and one count here. Man on first. Swing. And that's another hit there. Lovely. Chavez, you are, ba- you are really pitching well. I don't think he's going to be coming out for the Cubs anytime soon. His ERA right now is wild. 13.5 ERA, and uh, he is giving up hit galore. Uh, Taylor says, Happy Easter, Blaze. Happy Easter to you, too, Champione. That's hit number eight so far here for the Rockies. So they do finally take the lead in the hit department. Jeez, we keep getting good hits. We just can't get the runs. Uh, Biggie Bagel is built different. Biggie Bagel is... no. Oh, no, it's another hit. Don't let Jesse Chavez pitch anymore. Please don't let Jesse Chavez pitch anymore. It's 8-1 here to the Rockies. We just want Jesse Chavez to go out of the game. Please get him out of the game. We don't want... We don't want Jesse Chavez. Please get him out of the game. Holy damn. He's giving up a hit nearly every single at-bat. What is this, like training? We, what, what, what is this? What, what, what are we doing here? Are we training here? Are we giving them free hits? Are we trying to train the Rockies batters here or something like that? Stop it, man. Stop it giving them free hits, man. Oh, and Jesse Chavez is still pitching. <laughs> He's still pitching. 
Chad says, surely Benny the Bull is the best mascot. Easy. Easy the best mascot. So 8-1 is the score to the Rockies here. Man on first, man on second here. Two out, bottom of the fifth. And that's going to be a ball. Reese Thomas did the Celtics win. Uh, hard to win when you didn't play. Hard to win when you didn't play. I think they play tomorrow at like 3 in the morning our time. So bottom of the fifth here, man on first, man on second, 1-0. There's a count two out. Don't forget, guys, we will stream the entire game regardless of how poorly we do. We always do this, so don't ever think that I will leave just because the game's getting really, really bad. If you guys know me from my other channel, BKR Sport, where I have, you know, 16,000 subscribers instead, we, we get pumped. We get slaughtered by fans. Australians treat sport very differently to Americans. When your team is getting beaten badly... Um, the, you guys will find it incredibly brutal the way that uh, people talk. Oh, that's another hit there, but that's going to be out. Beautiful. All right, so we finally get out of that. Bottom of the fifth, done. End of the fifth there. Top of the sixth, coming up. Let's go. Bing bong. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Let's get around it. Bingo. So uh, that is the really... I don't want Jesse Tavis coming back out there. So a 9-7 in regards to hits there for the Rockies. 8-1 is the score. Oh, no. Chaz says, other Miami Marlins good. They're not too shabby, but they're not going to be winning any... They're not going to be winning the World Series anytime soon. Um, but they're not too shabby, I guess. Uh, let's go have a see. Have, go have a look. Oh, well, today they were too shabby. Uh, they lost 10-3 to the Phillies today. Uh, but then again, the Cubs are losing badly now. So the uh, Marlins got swept in the opening series. No, they didn't. They beat the Giants in Game 2. They lost 6-5 in Game 1. They won 2-1 in Game 2. And then they lost 3-2 in Game 3. Uh, then they took on the Angels. And Daz, mate! Sweep them in a nice little two-game set. 6-2 to the Angels, and then 4-3 to the Angels. Look at the Angels go. They're flying for you, Daz. And then the Marlins have taken on the Phillies here. They won the first two games of a four-game series, 4-3 uh, and then 7-1, and then lost today 10-3 to the Phillies. Tomorrow they have another game, uh, which is very early in the morning for me. Very early in the morning for me. So, n yes and no. Not really, though. They're, they're, they're not going to be coming out of the NL East at all. They won't be coming out of the NL East at all. If I'm looking at the NL East, I'll be looking at uh, probably the Braves to be... Uh, no, I'm actually going to say the Mets to be top of the uh, NL East. Uh, I will say the... Oh, I don't want to say it, but I do think the Cardinals will probably come top of the NL Central. But I, honestly, I believe the Cubs can do it. I believe the Cubs absolutely can do it there. Uh, I don't think the Brewers are going to have a good year this year. I just don't. And then the NL West uh, will be the Dodgers in one. I would say the Padres. Oh, I'd say the Giants in two. That NL West is filthy, man. The Padres, the Giants, the Dodgers, and the Rockies. I'm so sorry, Arizona fans. Arizona Diamondbacks fans. I'm so sorry. Uh, all sports fans says Chavez has almost had as many teams as Wags have husbands. Yep. Diamondbacks beat the Mets earlier. That's cool, but they're also three and five, and they're in a conf uh, a, a uh, <laughs> they're in a division that has the Giants, Dodgers, Rockies, and Padres. So, best of luck to them. You know, best of luck to the old Diamondbacks. I've watched them live multiple times before. I have watched them uh, live multiple times before. The old uh, the old D-backs. Uh, saw a night. It was a beautifully hot day. It was a hot day in Wrigley. I was out in the left field, no, sorry, right field bleachers. Yeah, right field bleachers. And uh, it's left side when you're walking in, but um, right field uh, side. And I we won 1-0 with a bottom of the 10th walk-off. Bottom of the 10th walk-off. We won 1-0. So Judas Shasin will come in here for the Rockies. And he will throw a strike to Wilson Contreras. Swing and strike at that one. Wilson Contreras, 3-5-0 average this year. Not had a good game today, though. I had a really good game yesterday. Uh, All Sports fans says, Mike Trout, the Angels are back. Okay. Lucas says, Yanks are too good. We just need the rain delay. Oh, they came back, did they? Are they leading now, are they? Uh, yeah, 4-2. Okay. Well, you lost the Orioles yesterday, so relax. Contreras will swing it straight to the shortstop, and that will be out for Contreras. He's not having a good day today. Dazzle says, the Angels get two... I've got 2002 vibes. It might be our year. Did you guys win in 2002, did you? 2002 World Series. So 2003 was the Marlins. 2002 was the Anaheim Angels. Different team. Different team. Nah, nah, I refuse. I refuse. No, 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 Dazzle, mate. Sorry, not the, you're not the Anaheim Angels. That is not your team. You are zero World Series. Sorry. Sorry, Dazzle, mate. 
Don't shoot the messenger. Swing, and Ian Hat will throw a shoot for a foul. So it'll be an 0 1 count here for the Ian Happy of Hatmans. Antonio Sanzatella, five innings pitched with seven hits, one run, one ER, strike to, uh, strike to walk ratio of 2 0, pitches 86. So uh, a better team would put him to the sword today, I reckon. So 0 1 1 out, top six. And that's going to be a ball. 1-1 one, one count now. So I've got about two hours, two and a half hours until... This game's actually gone super quick. I'm going to have plenty of time before... Oh no, sorry, I've got an hour and a half until the NRL starts. I'll probably have like 20 minutes break, I reckon. Chazza, I literally just gave you a whole five-minute response about the Miami Marlins. Why are you asking if the Miami Marlins are good again? I just went through their entire... Yeah. I just spoke to you for five minutes about the Miami Marlins. What, what do you talk? What do you mean that the Miami Marlins? I just, I just answered your question for five minutes. We just went through the entire bloody schedule so far. <laughs> we, just, we just went through their entire schedule, Chazza. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Hap, drive, drive. No, it's going to be out center field, damn it. Oh, he's gone. What you mean, did I? What you mean, you did? Yes, I did. You muppet. Yes, I did. <laughs> Jeff Flobo says, do you like basketball or baseball more? I'm more of a baseball fan, personally. I just love the intricacies of the game. I'm a very new baseball fan, though. Since 2019, when I went to Chicago, I went to watch the Bulls. I went to watch Chicago, and I fell in love with the city. Um, but when I went to Wrigley Field, it just hit me, man. It was just an amazing moment. It was just such an amazing moment. Um, and there's a vlog on my uh, BKR Sport. <laughs> Open your ears, Chad. Uh, there's a vlog on BKR Sport um, <laughs> of me going to a heap of games, White Sox games, Cubs games, and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, I just I was I fell in love with the Cubbies there. So no, I find this sport so much more entertaining because there's so much more you can learn from it. Basketball can be crazier, in my opinion. Actually, no, yeah, it's, it's usually more hype. Taz is brought under 18 and. What you, what you mean I'm under 18? Doesn't mean you... Under 18s don't have bad ears. You better be sorry. <laughs> you better be sorry. That was a whole waste of time going to the Miami Marlins just then. <laughs> to flip I'm a very, very new baseball fan. You're yeah, fair enough. Well, you can learn with me. Even though you're going to see a lot more Cubbies games and Rockies games on here, you can learn with me because I'm still learning. Every day you'll be learning. And that's going to be a hit from Frankie Schwindel. That'll be an out right field. I have help from the chat all the time. This is a brand new channel over here. So um, that's three out there, middle and sixth, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, the Rockies are winning 8-1 right now, and I want to cry. Uh, but we're all good. It's all right. We've been okay hitting-wise. We just can't put the runs in. Uh, but this is actually my second channel. So I have BKR Sport that has 16,200 subscribers. Um, we do NRL there, which is an Australian rugby league. Uh, we do cricket. We do football. We do boxing, UFC over there, um, and super rugby. Uh, so that's that channel there. And we love that. But we also did a couple of American sports over there as well. But we decided, you know what? They're all Australian sports. Let's just move it over here. We'll do American sports over here, slap it out, um, and separate them. So um, I, uh, I, I'm i very well aware of, of everything America. Um, I have been doing this for quite some time. But this is a brand new channel in regards to... Uh, this is a specific brand new channel in regards to the American side of things that I wanted to separate the two. Uh, to flow flows, it's time for bed, Chaz. Well, the thing is, is that it's only 12, 11 p.m. here in Australia. So Chaz is actually an Australian fan from BKR Sport Channel. And uh, <laughs> Chaz should be getting to bed pretty... Yep, yeah, Chaz, you should be going to bed at 12 o'clock. Don't be worrying about those NRL games later on today because you need, buddy, you need to be starting to wake up here, big fella. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Chaz, you got to be, be clicking on here, champion. You've got to be clicking on here, buddy. This is no, this is this is not an easy channel if you if you make a mistake because we will go in, we will let you know you made a mistake. Don't you worry, don't you worry. So bottom of the six coming up here for the Rockies. <sighs> Reese Dumbler says my Warriors are on today. They are on today. The Warriors versus the Roosters later on today with the Knights and the Dragons games. I'll be streaming both those games over there on Big House Board. But it is time for bed, Chaz. I know it's twelve o'clock, but it is time for bed for you. It is time for bed. So they, oh, Dazza, you're in. The Daz, mate. Daz, mate, you are in. Dazza comes in here. He's being pinch hit here for Chrissy Bryant. Dazza hitting 500 this year. Had a good game in game one. 
Oh, no, they haven't put him in just yet. He's come in for Chris Bryant, though, but Connor Joe is leading off here. Connor Joe is leading off here with a triple, a walk, and RBI, and a run today. And that's going to be hit up in the air, and that's going to be out through center field. Jason Haywood, give me that catch, give me that catch, give me that catch. To Flow Blow says, oh, yeah, forgot the time difference in my time. It's 4.12 in the night. 4.12 in the night? What, are you in LA? Are you in Colorado? What's not? Where are you? Where, what, where is it 4.12 right now? Where is it 4.12 p.m. right now? <laughs> where is it 4.12? Um, 4, 4.12 p.m. Um, I don't know. Big Daz is coming. Let's go get her on the Daz. So that's going to be uh, strike one here for Charlie Blackman. I'm trying to figure out where this is. Because it's a, it's night time here, isn't it? Isn't there not? Isn't it night? So there's no way the sun's gone down already. That's going to be ground out quickly there. So it'll be two out already immediately in this uh, bottom of the sixth. Joe said it's because I'm a Broncos fan. Absolutely, absolutely. That's exactly why. That is exactly why. I'm from Germany. Ah, oh, they're from Germany. Uh, well, I'll convince you to become a Cubs fan to flow flow. The more you watch the channel, don't you, Aaron? Jonathan Daza, the Daz mate. He comes in, 500 batting average, OBP of uh, 1,000. And that's going to be a struck one. Chavez actually having a good inning so far right now. 4.12 at night isn't a thing. Exactly right. 4.12 at night is not a thing. Oh, 4.12 in the morning in Germany. Oh, now I'm getting it. <laughs> now I'm comprehending it. Now I understand. All right, what can the Daz mate do here? Daz are... At the strike, Jonathan Dazza here, and it's up in the air, and Daz, mate, you are just a shonker. Oh, no, he might get hit here. Oh, no. No, it's don't worry. Sia Suzuki slap down to Daz, mate. Sia Suzuki goes, boom, and they're out. And it's sick. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. So, it is in Finland, Chaz, you are right. 4-12 at night isn't a thing unless you're in Finland, but that is the end of the sick there, guys. Let's go thumbs up and subscribe. Just do it. Just do it. Thumbs up and subscribe. Top of the seventh. It's not looking likely the Cubby's going to come back here today, but anything is possible. But anything is possible. So it's not over until the fat lady is singing. Is she singing yet? I don't think so. That is going to hit dingers. You didn't hit nothing. You didn't hit nothing, mate. Not a single thing did you hit today. And you, you should feel sorry. You should feel sorry for yourself. You come in, you get pinch hit. People are expecting you to do something, and you do nothing. You just, you, you got to sort yourself out, mate. Oh, you got to sort it out. I tell you what, those NRL streams are really starting to, to get a consistent amount of views now, which is pretty good. NRL streams are starting to do pretty well. Obviously, we've always, always done pretty well in NRL streams, but they're starting to get pretty consistent now in regards to, you know, around that minimum 80 mark, even on the, on the games that usually have the, uh, the free-to-wear. And the, the late Sunday games that aren't on free-to-wear... Like, I don't know if the Roosters Warriors game is on free-to-wear today. Which one's on free-to-wear today, guys? Is it, is it the, tar- the Warriors and, and uh, Roosters game, or is it the uh, Dragons and Knights game? Because whatever other game it is, usually we get decent decent amount of people on those those ones on the uh, Sunday afternoon. Chatham Kelton says, if the Tigers can score a try, anything is possible. So let's hold out hope for the Cubs. Absolutely. Absolutely. If the, if the Tigers... Us trucking down under. He knows all what we're talking about here. If the Tigers cannot lose a game by over 40 points, it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle in April if the Tigers don't lose a game by 40. The Flow Flow says, what is your favorite team logo next to the Cubs? Um, I actually don't think the Cubs is the best team logo. I think it's traditional, but it's not the best team logo. I would say the best team logo, the White Sox have a really nice logo. The Cardinals, unfortunately, do, unfortunately. Uh, let's go have a look at the logos, actually, while we do this. Uh, MLB logo, so that I can get it into my head. Um, let's go have a look here. So, no, that's not the right one. Okay, this one's the right one. All right, so, I'd say the Sox is really cool, the White Sox one, yeah. I've done a tier ranking, but I'll do a tier ranking on here, actually. I'll do some videos on here. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals, unfortunately, is good. Um, the Mets is pretty nice. Milk Mets is pretty clean. The Marlins is amazing. Milwaukee Brewers still have a good one too. All my rival teams have good logos. <laughs> Chucking down says no comment. Mate, that is technically a comment. I don't know if you realize it's chucking, but by you saying no comment, that is technically, technically a comment. 
That is technically a comment, mate. It is technically a comment. He did comment. Taz says, why do you like the Cardinals? I don't know. Maybe because we've got, like, you know, uh, our biggest, one of the biggest rivalries in, in baseball, you know. Maybe because the Cubs and Cardinals is a top three rivalry in baseball. Might be. Might be because of that. So it's going to be a two and one count there. Swing a strike to see a Suzuki. Swing and strike to Sisiya Ozzy Suzuki. Come on, a big boy. Because he's a Cubs fan. Thank you, Daz, mate. That's a good, that's a good answer. Why don't you like the Cardinals? Because I'm a Cubs fan. Is, a, is the correct answer there for 10 points, Daz, mate. Well done. 10 points to Gryffindor. And see, Suzuki will hit that for a... Oh, an error. That's what he'll hit it for. He'll hit it for an error. That's what he'll hit it for. So it will be uh, an error on the Rockies. And see, Suzuki will get to... Oh, they're going to call that as a base hit. Okay, I'll take it. They're going to call that as a base hit. Are you sure? Oh, maybe the spin around, but I don't know how much I'd be calling that as a base hit, but I will take it for the big fella Suzuki. It helps his numbers out. Uh, hasn't had the most unbelievable day today, but still it's been fine. Nothing wrong with him. Taylor says, I have no idea about anything in baseball apart from Babe Ruth. Yeah, so basically, man, the top three rivals, rivalries in this sport is uh, Red Sox and Yankees, obviously, Boston Red Sox and Yankees. Uh, then second is debatable between Los Angeles Dodgers and San Francisco Giants. And then also the Cubs versus the Cardinals. Oh, Jason Hayward with a hit. Double. No single. But we might have a third. No. See, Suzuki goes for third. The Speed Demon, baby. Speed Demon, see a Suzuki. Whoop, 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 whoop. Speed Demon, see a Suzuki. So, man on first and third here. No outs on the seventh. The comeback is on here for the Cubbies. I told you, we've been hitting well. We've been hitting well. It's just unfortunate. We are tied 9-9 in hits. But the... the the Rockies are up 8-1. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're doing well here. We just can't score. We've got no outs here. Man on first and third. Please, let's get a man in here. Just, we just need at least a sack fly here. Just make it 8-2. Paddy Wisdom, though. He's going to hit a home run here. Paddy Wisdom. He's 2 for 2 today with a single, a double, and a run. 2 on a batting average. 0 home runs. 4 RBIs. 5 4 2 OPS. Paddy Wisdom is going to say sayonara. He's going to say sayonara. Oh, he clobbered that for a foul, but that was just down the left-hand line. I nearly called that beautifully. Lucas says, that's like asking a Yankees fan why they hate the Red Sox. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No, nah, but we always, obviously there's going to be people who don't really understand the sport a great deal coming through, so I understand Chaz's question there. But So yeah, you'd say Red Sox and Yankees number one rivalry, and then you'd argue between Dodgers, Giants, and Cubs, Cardinals, and that's going to be hit through... Yes! Come on, Paddy Wisdom. Three. Hey, what's going home? Hey, what's going home? Come on! And Wisdom will say it's second. Broom! 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 Boo! So it's going to be 8-3 here to the Rockies. The Cubbies are kind of back in the game. They're kind of back in the game here through Paddy Wisdom with a 3-for-3 three three day here. He is having himself a ball game, Paddy Wisdom. He was not looking good this season until yesterday where he exploded. And then today he has just gone even more of an explosion. A couple of doubles here. Double, 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 double. Double, 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 double. Party wisdom. Boom, boom, boom. Party wisdom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. That is a beautiful hit. So Suzuki will score. Jason Hayward will score. And now Paddy Wisdom is in uh, Paddy Wisdom is in scoring position here. I don't believe we've got any outs. I don't think we've got any outs here. We do not have any outs. So the Cubbies here. Down by five. Man on second. No outs. Chase, I don't follow baseball because I prefer to follow cricket. That's a real cool story, man. That's a really cool story. Well done. Well done. I reckon you should write a novel about that. I reckon you should write a novel. I'm going to write a novel, however, how I can like both sports because they're both on a different times of the year. How about that? You like that one? And he's going to bunt that down the left-hand side. It's going to be foul. All right. I would like Nico to actually go for this and try and go for a dink. I'd prefer Nico to try and go for the hit here. Uh, so Ortega, Contreras, and Hap are the only ones with no hit today. Suzuki with two. Wisdom with three. Hayward with one. Schwindel with one. Horner with one. And Villa with two. Chassin is the pitcher here right now. Man on second. Tell you what, if we can get a home run, that would really be massive because that would bring us back within three. So that's going to be a strike there for Nico Horner. I'll be 0-2 count now. 
I know it's crazy to say this, but there is a possibility you could like both baseball and cricket, Chazza. I do it. Yeah, I do it. Because they're both on the different times of the year. And it's going to be a ball. So one or two count here for Nico Horner. Come on, Nico Horner. Let's get a... Uh, let's get on first here. Man on first, second, no out. And then Rafael Ortega will just go slappy, 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 slap. That's exactly what's going to happen here. We know it's incoming. We know it's incoming. One and two count, man on second, and Nico will... Oh, it's going to be an error! No, Nico got hard, got there. Let's go. I think that's going to be an error there, though. I think that's going to be an error there, so it will not be a hit. Oh, unless... Are they calling this a hit? Are they calling that a hit? I don't... He does drop the ball there. Oh, no, no, that's a tough one. No, it will be an error. It will be an error on the Rockies there. It will be an error. So, Nico will be man on first and Paddy Wisdom on second. And we are actually back in this game right now, the Cubbies. We are rallying a little bit here. Should I get my rally cap out here? Should I get my rally cap out? Should I get the cap out? And should I get the rally cap on? Come on. Uh, I like baseball way more than cricket. The more you understand baseball, the more you'll understand that it is a better sport. All right, so Rafael Ortega. We were down 8-1. Before this inning started. Now we're back to 8-3 after a Paddy Wisdom specialty. Man on first, man on second. No outs here. And Rafael Ortega, no hits today so far. He'll swing that one. And that's a tough one here. But we'll progress them. So Ortega's out. One out, but a man on first. and A man on second, a man on third, sorry. No man on first. Man on second, man on third here. Both runners in scoring position. If we can get a base here and make this an 8-5 ball game, we are in this game. Uh, Someone uses both cricket and baseball. Do, do you have the origins in the game rounders? I, I, I don't know what that means, but uh, get around baseball. Uh, baseball boy 501 says hi. Hello, baseball boy 501. Who are you going for today, big fella? Your Cubbies fan? Your Rockies fan? Or you just love your baseball? But the Cubs are coming back here a little bit. If they can get a couple more runs here in this inning, I'm telling you, they are back in this game. They were down 8-1. They've had good hits today. They've got 10-9 to in favor of hits. Just haven't been able to get the runs in. But right now, man on second, man on third here. And Villar, who's got two for three today, he's been doing really well this season, especially in this series too. Hopefully, he can slap him down here and bring bring these boys home. 4-12 this season, batting average with zero home runs, two RBIs and a 9.79 OPS. Two singles and an RBI today for Jonathan Villar. And it's going to be ball. So one and no count here. Oh, it would be very cheeky. It would be very cheeky if Villa got on base here and, and made the bases loaded and Contreras comes up with no hits today. Baseball boy says, Rockies, well, good luck, man. Right now, the Cubbies are sneaking it back, but you are still up by five runs. So, you know, you've got to remember that one. But, you know, you've got to give us credit right now, a fair juice. For, for giving it a real solid go, despite it being laid on and, and, and pretty much being out of it at 8-1. Back to 8-3. Chance to make it an 8-6 game here if Ortega wants to go deep. Uh, or if he gets a base hit, 8-5, three, three-run game. And then we have Contreras to come up. And like I said, Contreras has not got a hit today, but he's hitting 3-3-3 three, three, three this year and had a really good day yesterday. Tazman says, here comes the Cubbies. Here comes the Cubbies, Taz, mate. Here come the Cubbies. Here they come the Cubbies. And it's going to be a ball. Two and one count now for Rafael Ortega. Not Rafael Ortega, sorry, he got out. Uh, Villa with the two for three, but he's two one count right now. Come on, Jonathan Villa. <laughs> Look at this, going to be a good season here. It's going to be a good season. I know it is. I just know it's going to be a great season. Look how cool that um, the arm covering is. And it's going to be too high. Villa, you didn't need to swing at that one, bro. You didn't need to swing at that one, big fella. You did not need to swing at that one. But he will swing, and uh, that'll be two and two count now. Two and two count right now. Eight, three to the Rockies. Jonathan Villa. Man on second, man on third. Swing. Yes! Come on! It's going to be eight, five, baby. It's going to be 8-5. That's a single into the right field. And Jonathan Villa gets on. Boom, boom. Bra, bra, bing. Come on, baby. 8-5. to five. Three run game. Ooh, here come the Cubbies. Here they come. The Cubbies are coming. Here come the Cubbies. Whoa. Here come the Cubbies. The Cubbies are coming. 
So 8-5 here. What an inning here. We've brought it back from 8-1 down to now 8-5. 8-1 down to now 8-5. This is what we're talking about. This is why I say to you guys, it's never over until it's over. It's never over until it is over. So the Cubs here have brought it back from 8-1 to 8-5, and we are rocking and we are rolling. That's what it says Shohei Itani is not playing in this game today. Uh, but the Rockies are going to be taking that to sin, and they're going to be making a pitching change here. Guys, so this is plenty of time for you guys to go and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're out here. The rally is on right now. We are rallying from behind. I am considering, I am seriously considering right now, um, I'm seriously considering uh, getting my rally cap on. I am. Um, why is that saying that? 04, 05. No, there we go. So I'm just trying to do something on the screen right now. Tatum Kellison says, uh, come on, a Cubs. Up at the Cubbies, we are, um, we're, we're slabbing it, man. I told you, we're doing, we're doing the goods. We're doing the goods. We are doing the goods right now. We're doing the goods. It's fine. Rocking and rolling. So you just need to be patient, man. You just need to be patient. People don't have that patience in baseball. You aren't going to have fun in this sport. You need to have a lot of patience. So... Oh, uh, 903609. Sorry, I'm just sorting out my KO right now. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Bingo, there you go. Let's break out the rally cap. Oh, it's a bit early though. It's a bit early though. I would love it though. I would love to see it. It's a bit early though. You can't bring it out too early, but we are rallying regardless. We are rallying regardless, and that's the main thing. That is the main thing right now. So 11-9 in regards to hits, 5-8 in regards to runs. But the Cubbies are flying. I was applying Chaz's comment. Oh, what? Oh, show her. Oh, shut up. Oh, you're a Muppet. You are a Muppet. You are a Muppet. Jeez, I'm all over the shop here. I'm just trying to sort everything out. There you go. So who comes in? Justin Lawrence will come in here for the Colorado Rockies. He will come in here for the Colorado Rockies. Ian Happ on deck. In the hole is Frank Schwindel, but guess who is at bat right now? Wilson Contreras. And uh, it's not a tying run at home plate. I can't believe we're even close to having a tying run here after what this game's been like today. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that it's 8-5. We were down 8-1. And Justin Lawrence, 3.1 innings so far this year. Zero ERA, zero opponent home run. Striker percentage of 25%. Walk percentage of 8.3%. And a ground ball percentage of 62.5%. So man on first is Jonathan Villar after his uh, RBI knock just now. And that's going to be a strike one there for Lawrence. That was a nice pitch. That was a nice pitch. Come on, man. Keep fighting. Let's get back in this game. We are in this game now, but let's just keep going, baby. Let's just keep going. Let's get it. Wilson Contreras here 0 for 3 today, but we know he's going to slap it down here. Bang it out. Break it down. And swing. And that's going to be a... A fair ball. No, foul ball. Fair ball. Foul ball. Otherwise, that would have been a double play. So, thank God it wasn't a double play. Thank God that was a foul. So, 0 2 count now. One out. Wilson's just not had his day today. It's not been his day, unfortunately. Uh, Daniel Wells says, dang, we need three points to tie the game. We do need three more runs to tie the game. we still got time, though, bro. We were down 8-1. We were down 8-1 in this game, Daniel. So, uh, and that was that before this inning. We were 8-1 down at the end of the sixth. So you've got to appreciate the way we've come back in this inning. So Wilson Contreras now, man on first. I want to count one out and he will swing. Oh, double play. Damn it. Ah, damn it. So Wilson Contreras with a couple of double plays here today. He's not been our greatest at all. He has not been the greatest here at all for the Cubs, but it's all good. At least we brought it back within range. 8-5 here, middle of the 7th. Going to the bottom of the 7th. It's going to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new out here. But, geez, that's frustrating because Wilson Contreras has had a couple of double plays today. Also not gotten a single, uh, not gotten a hit at the moment. And, uh, yeah, very frustrating day for Willie. Very frustrating day for Willie. Villa, very good. Three hits, three RBIs. Uh, Wisdom, two runs, three hits, uh, two RBIs. Uh, it's been the, the Villar and Wisdom day today uh, for us, but unfortunately for Wilson Contreras, he really has not been able to do anything. The Nuggets getting slapped. Let's go have a look at that NBA right now. Let's go have a look at that NBA right now. 87-68, yeah, wow, they are. Wow, they are. The Jazz got a good win over the Mavs today. 
the Timberwolves, great win over the Grizzlies in Memphis. And the 76ers, absolutely pumped. Um, it says 17-10 final score between the seven. It literally says final score 17-10 to <laughs> for the 76ers over the Raptors. That would have been a very bad game in regards to... Uh, what we were seeing there, uh, if that was the score, but it wasn't the score. Obviously, I want to go. I'm going to go to NBA.com and check it out. Uh, it was 131 to 111. But if you go on Google, it says 17 to 10. Oh, that double play is so frustrating, man. That double play is so frustrating. We're doing so well. We've really got back into the game, and we still have plenty of outs. We had two outs remaining, and then Wilson just goes bang bang with the double play again. Frustrating. Frustrating, but it's okay. Bottom of the seventh. Thank you very much to John Peterson for subscribing. What a legend. Appreciate you, dude. Appreciate you, big fella. I'm going to make that bigger, actually. I'm going to make that bigger so it kind of covers that whole thing over there. There we go. Thank you very much for subscribing, champion. Ah... Don't forget, guys, tomorrow we got the early games. It's a 1.10 p.m. start for you guys in Colorado. It's a 5 a.m. start for me in Australia. Hmm. Tell says, yeah, go to the Cubbies. All right, here we go. Bottom of the seventh here. Who will come out? I think it'll be Hilliard, Sam Hilliard, maybe. So Villa, three, four, three RBIs, 11 for this, uh, seven for 11 this series. has been good. Wisdom, five hits in the last five at-bats, three for three tonight. Uh, Treyo with two for three and two RBIs. Uh, Z.A. Crom with two run home run in four run third inning. And Santa Teller with five innings pitched, seven hits, one run, two strikeouts, and uh, no walks. Uh, was that in the NBA or WNBA? Uh, what are you talking about? What are you responding to? So Ethan Roberts comes in here. He was not good for us the other day. Ethan Roberts was not good for the Cubs the other day. So I hope that he does better here today. I hope that he does a little bit of the better today because he was not great the other day. Inning 2.1, strikeout percentage of 8.3, war percentage of 25%. 25%. So here we go. So Mark uh, Leiter Jr. was the one who gave away all the runs here in today's game. By the way, seven runs off him at the back end of his... uh, at the... I think it was pretty much the bottom of the third that really got him done. 17-10 score. Oh, yeah. 17-10 score. Yeah, that makes sense. No, sorry. That Yeah, so what happened? That was just... Uh, shush. So, <laughs> Cron here, one for three. And it's going to be up in the air. That's gone. Ethan Roberts is not good for us. That's a, that's a solo home run. It's 9-5. You come back in the game, you bring Ethan Roberts out, and he has done nothing for us. Like, bro, he's, he really messes around that first game of the Series 2, and he's going to do that again. Might have been on the sevens, maybe. Oh, man, so frustrating, dude. Just simply so frustrating. So 9-5 here. It's not been our hitters today. It's not been our hitters. It's been all about the pitching today. Like, we are still leading in the hit department. We are still up 11-10 in the hit department, but we're down 9-5 right now. Solo home run, C.J. Cron. He's had two home runs today, C.J. Cron. He's had two home runs today, big fella. So Ethan Roberts now, he'll be pitching to uh, Ryan McMahon. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. He went for a big time swing too. He went to, to a, he, went, he tried a big time swing at ding ding. Oh, my KO's not working for today. Does anyone here have KO that works that I can share with you for this afternoon? Because my KO's not working today. I don't know why. I'm trying to sort it out because I'll be going straight from this stream into the uh, NRL stream later on. KO's not working. Does anyone here have good KO? So bottom seven here, nine five, and swing and miss. That'll be a 0-2 count now for Ryan McMahon. One or three count. That's what I've been trying to sort out the last couple of moments. I went to try and get onto it, but it said, nope. Won't let me use my card either. Frustrating. That's a big game, Roosters Warriors. Can technically watch the nine the nine game live on on thingo, but I can't watch the other one. So I want two count now, bottom of the seventh, and that's gonna be a ball. So a one and two count now. <sighs> Come on, Ethan Roberts. Come on, Champiano. Come on, champion. Oh, we on. Yeah, get around, Timmy. Hey, 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 we are on, boys. Sorry, just one of my roommates just sent. We got a new TV, though, day. 
<laughs> we got a new TV the other day and we, he sorted it out. So it's going to be, and bang, there we go. So it's going to be one out here, bottom of the seventh. Five pitches for Robert so far. Uh, Savio says, they say the greatest pitcher of all time is Cy Young, but it's all opinion. It is all opinion, bro. It's like basketball. It's like baseball. It's like NFL. It's like every sport. You're going to have an opinion that's different than somebody else. So absolutely, yeah. It all comes down to um, it all comes down to personal preference. You know, if you like a fastball more, you think that's a bit more spicy than a, a cutter or a curveball or a changeup or, a, you know, a um, knuckleball. It, com- it really comes down to so much opinion when it comes to baseball. And that's going to be strike one. No, ball one. So one and no count here for Rogers. One and no count here for Brent. Rogers is one from three today. So Sam Hilly will be on deck and Alan Treo is in the hole, but you'd hope that Treo will not be coming out here in the seventh. And it's going to be swing up in the air and that will be a foul. So that's going to be a one and two count now. No, he's going to be out maybe. No, it will be a foul. No, one on one count, sorry. Someone says, just a KO question. Have you ever watched it with a split screen watching two sporting events at the same time? I have, yeah. Yeah, I do it a lot actually when the cats are playing and I'm watching the NRL. So I'm streaming the NRL, but I'm also paying attention to how the cats are going. All right, one on one count here. Drees, Cracker Jack and Candy Bacon Drink. What is this? What is that? Can- Elvis milkshake. Jeez. Cracker Jack and candy bacon as a as a milkshake. That's and peanut butter as well. Peanut butter, cracker jack, and bacon in a milkshake. I don't know what's going on there. That's really odd. Oh gee, she's really wow, she's all going on there on TV. Wow, that was a bit uh, wow, um, wow, wow, don't do that again, lady, uh, <laughs> there are kids watching here, there are kids watching, that's up in the air, and I'll be catch, beautiful, all right, so two out there, there'll be two out there for the Rockies, they've still got one out remaining here in the bottom of the seventh, <laughs> she's still trying to get around, <laughs> now she's got the spoon, yeah, she's got the spoon, because that was a bit dodgy, that one there, lady, Daz, mate, do you have KO? Ryan's Argus says, that sounds disgusting. It actually looks really good, dude. I know it sounds bad, but it actually looks really good. Peanut butter, Cracker Jack, bacon milkshake. It actually looked pretty good just then. That's a strike one there. That is a strike one on one count. Two out. That looks good. It does. It looks as a good. It does look the goods, but you will become very fat from drinking that frequently. That's why I got really big in, in Chicago, because I was always eating out, because I was always going to games. And when you go to games, you're getting those Chicago dogs, which is just beautiful, or you get the helmet with nachos in it. Oh, man, at Chicago, you get the helmet, the baseball helmet, and it's just filled with nachos, cheese, jalapenos. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. So one and one count right now, two out, bottom of the seventh. And that's going to be a ball, so it'll be a two and one count now. This chick is just staring at the camera and just, what's going on here? What is going on here? Sam Hilliard now, two and one count, two out, bottom of the seventh. And that's going to be a swing, and that's going to be a foul. So we'll be two and two count now. At this point, after that solo home run just then, it's, oh, we're still in this game, to be fair. It's only a four-run game right now. It is only a four-run game as we currently speak. Yeah, I'm, yeah, fair. They say, uh, they were saying in the commentary, like, how come all Elvis impersonators are always the fat Elvis and not the skinny Elvis? And that's going to be a ball. So three and two count here, full count. I have one hour until that NRL starts. One hour. So I kind of have to hope these next two innings go through relatively quickly. 
Why are we still looking at this chick eating this milkshake? Stop it. Stop it. Let's watch the game. And that's going to be up in the air. It'll be foul. Yeah, it'll be foul. It won't be out. Still full count now. Bum, 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 bum. It slowed down a lot in the last couple of moments. It has just got a little bit kind of draggy right now in this, um, this seventh after that home run. Just dragging on a little bit. Jeez, that chick's hair in the crowd is super pink. Like, that is really pink. Oh, my God. We're still watching this chick drink this milkshake. We are still watching this chick drink this milkshake. And that's up in the air. That should be out center field. That should be out center field there, Jason Hayward. Beautiful. Bingo. So, end of the seventh there, guys. We go to the top of the eighth. The Cubbies are down 9-5. to five. We were down 8-1 in this game. Brought it back to an 8-5 game. And then they hit a solo home run just then to make it a 9-5. Uh, some of these I had to change the feed because I was accidentally watching the Rockies charger. What? I see the girls drinking the milkshake just now. Oh yeah, true. You see, you're watching on yeah. So you're watching on Marquee. So Marquee is the Chicago Cubs network. Um, and yeah, on MLB TV it's great because you can watch multiple. You can uh, you can watch the different broadcasts for whoever you support. So you don't have to watch like in the NBA. You kind of have to listen to the away sometimes when they're the, when they're the home. So it's good that uh, with this that you can choose to uh, to listen to the, the home commentary because if I had to listen to Cardinals commentary whilst w listening watching a Cardinals Cubs game in um, at Bush Field Bush Stadium, I'd cry. I would cry. So top of the eighth here, who will come up here for the Cubs is a good question. Uh, we had Wisdom, then we had Horner, we had Ortega, Villa, Contreras. I think Ian Hat comes up now. I think it'll be Ian Happ, who's also not going to hit today. So the only ones with no hits today are Ortega, Contreras, and Happ. That's it. Everyone else has got hits. Taylor says, what is the innings? My internet cut out. It, it, well, it, does it not say it on here? Uh, it says it there. End of the seventh. So we're into the top of the eighth. Sergeant Gellin says, what was so interesting about a woman drinking a milkshake that they had to ca have the camera on her forever? Because the milkshake looked great, but it was just a little bit too long. It started to get a little bit sexualized. And I was like, eh, well, she's actually quite attractive. But in the same sense... No need to be continuously going back to her drinking and eating the milkshake with peanut butter, Cracker Jack, bacon. Looked good, though, like I said. It did look good, but not for the 17th time they panned the camera to her. So come on, Ian Happ. We are still in this game. We're only down by the four, but a very difficult game to come back from. We've only got the two innings left here to go. We looked like they, we might have been back into it, but uh, then we messed up there and gave up that solo home run to CJ Grom. All right. So first pitch here, and that's going to be Lawrence throwing a swing and strike to Ian Happ. Across from Coors Field. That's right. They've got that, that hotel there now as well. They've had their hotel there since I think I was there in 2019. But it's a nice little area there at Wrigley Field nowadays. They've really improved it. They've got the McDonald's right across there. They've got heaps of bars. They've got that nice hotel. Even though the hotel is probably the... Oh, it's just very profitable for the owners. Ricketts, not that they spend the money on the club. But at least it's profitable for the organization. I know people are going to have a problem with it, but in the same sense, at least we're getting some profit What's the, from it, I guess. Not that we necessarily see it at the, club, at the Cubs. So Ian Happ is 0 for 3 today. I think he's 1 or 2 down right now. I would really ideally love to be watching the game right now, not whatever we're looking at right now on it. Marquee, please just show us the game, please. So 0-2 count here for Ian Happ. Don't forget, we'll be back here tomorrow again for game number four of the series. And Lawrence throws that one. There'll be another foul there, so it's going to be an 0-2 count still. Ah, man, it looked like it was going to be a good game. But then again, I did tell you that with uh, Mark Leiter coming through, that it was probably going to be a dangerous one here in regards to the uh, the pitching. But he did well for the first two before he got blown apart in the third. That's a ball. That's a one and two count here for Ian Happ. <whistles> Frankie Schwindel on deck and see a Suzuki in the hole. I reckon they'll probably pinch for Hayward. Maybe. 
They might pinch Horner, actually. And swing and a miss, that's gone. So it'll be uh, one out here for the Cubs. And we will see Frankie Schwindel come up. So Ian Happ also not having a good day today. He's 0 for 4. Contreras 0 for 4. And Ortega is 0 for 3 with a walk. Why is he got three at-bats but no walks? What happened with Ortega? I can't remember what happened with Ortega. Can someone tell me what happened with Rafael Ortega? It says that he's got no, no walks, but he's only got the three at-bats. Oh, error. That's why. Error. It was the error. Uh, it's going to be a foul there for Frankie Schwindel. If we were able to get like a home run or something like that, it would it would still keep us in this game. If we could be down by only three going into that top of the ninth, then we'd actually have a, a chance. Because that's just, you know, bop, bop, boom. But it's very difficult with the bop, 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 boom. You don't want the bop, bop, bop. You just want the bop, bop. And that's going to be a ball. So 1-1 one, one count now to Schwindel. But let's quickly go through the upcoming uh, schedule here for the Cubbies, for people who aren't aware about our upcoming uh, few games. So tomorrow for Australia, 5, 10 a.m. in the morning for the Cubbies. Uh, for you guys in America, it's going to be a ground out for Swindell. So two out here on the top of the eighth. Um, tomorrow is a very early game, 1, 10 p.m. game in Colorado, 5, 10 a.m. game here uh, in Australia for the Rockies, game four. Finish on the series there. Uh, then we take on the Rays at Wrigley Field on Tuesday. Monday for you guys in America uh, in a couple of nighttime games there. Uh, all three of them are actually night games against the Tampa Bay Rays on when, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's American time. Uh, then we take at Wrigley Field. We have a four-game homestand against the Pirates. Uh, and only one of those games is a night game. The other three are the one ten p.m. slot. So that's 4.20 in the morning for me. Uh, and then we get a day break, and then we travel to Atlanta to take on the Braves in the three-game uh, series, and all three of those games are at night. That's a ball there to uh, see a Suzuki. Suzuki, what's he today? Two for three. He's had a good game today. 409 average with a 1.425 OPS and three home runs this season. But then, yeah, then we have the, those Braves in that three-game, and then we have the Brewers in a four-game stand in Milwaukee, all of which, no, three of which are at night. The third game of the series is at the early game. And then we take on the Sox in the uh, Crosstown series uh, at Wrigley Field. And both those games are at night and on my birthday. So get around the Cubbies. Hopefully we can get a win on my birthday against the Sox. Be a tough one, though. So 2-0 and count here to see a Suzuki. 2-3 and three count. And that's going to be a ball. So 3-0 and o count here to see a Suzuki. All sports fans says the Rays are in poor form right now. That's an instant win for the Cubs, hopefully. I wouldn't say it's an instant win at all. I, I would like to get the win, but I wouldn't say the Rays are an instant win for anyone. They, they don't exactly have the greatest of... Uh, they don't have the greatest of records as we currently speak, but in the same sense, I would not be saying the Rays are an instant win at Wrigley. And that's going to be strikes. So that'll be a 3-1 count here for Suzuki. Bottom left edge of the, the... Bottom left corner there, they slap that down. Only four runs behind, though. There's still time. It's not, but we'd need to get a run here. Suzuki would need to. But the two outs here is what's going to be doing us dirty, unfortunately. And Suzuki will let that go for a ball. That will be a walk for Sia Suzuki. So a 2-3 game here today with a walk as well. A double, a single, and a walk will be what Suzuki gets through the top of the eighth. And Jason Hayward will come out now. If he hit a home run here but made it 9-7, to seven, then maybe I might scream my lungs out and go crazy. Uh, but that's a big call for Jason Hayward to be going deep. Austin Gomba will be the pitcher for tomorrow's game for the Rockies, and it will be Drew Smealy for the Cubbies. One for three with a single and a run here today for, for Jason Hayward. 294 batting average with zero home runs, zero RBI. We're a much more contact-based team this year rather than the home run hitting team we've been for the last couple of years. And that's going to be a ball. So why don't I count now? That would be a ball for Jason Hayward. One of three count. Uh, sorry, one for three today with one and no count, two out, man on first. And they're going to come in here and have a check out with uh, Lawrence. A catcher, we'll have a chat with him. <sighs> there has been some major positives to take out of this, this uh, series with the Rockies, absolutely. Uh, but there also has been a lot of negatives. Uh, the negatives being the, the pitching, uh, but the positives are absolutely at batting. Our batting has been very good this series. Today, we've had 11 hits. Yesterday, we had about 11 hits, uh, even though we lost both games. I think we had about eight hits or nine hits in, on game one. That's a ball. So, we'll be 2-0 count here to Jason Hayward. 
we've had some really good hitting games. So we are definitely doing well in regards to getting contact on the ball and slapping it down. But uh, our pitching has just been our biggest problem with our starters, unfortunately, getting done around the third, fourth, and fifth innings. Um, we've taken the lead. We've taken the lead in every single game. We went up 3-0 in that first game. We won that game 5-2, but we went up 3-0 in the first game before they came back uh, to 3-2. The second game, we were up, uh, I think, well, we up 4-1, and then they took the lead at 7-4, or 6-4, or something like that, and then we didn't get back into it. Still lost by one, though. Oh, Jason Haywood, deep, 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 deep. Oh, it's going to be a double. Suzuki, go home. Go home, Suzuki. Go home, Suzuki. Go home, Suzuki. Come on. Come on, baby. That's a triple for Jason Hay. We went back in the game 9-6. We're back in the game 9-6. Let's go. Let's go, Jay Hay. Let's go, Jay Hay. That is a trip into the corner, baby. A trip into the corner. So see Suzuki will get the run there. And it'll be Jason Hayward who keeps us in the game there with a nice little trip. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so three runs of difference. If we can get... So who's up now? It's going to be uh, Paddy Wisdom, who's had a three-for-three three night with two runs and two RBIs. If Paddy Wisdom gets on here, this is going to be amazing because that means we'll only be down by two. If he hits a home run, we'll only be down by one going into that top of the ninth. Here we go. Sachin Kellen says Cubbies are still in it. Let's go. Exactly right. You can hear the Cubbies chants still in the... Uh, you, can see, you can hear the Cubs chants going through the arena right now. So Saya Suzuki there slaps it down with that run, but Jason Hayward, you are a you are the man with a nice little trip into the corner. Come on, now we're talking. See, you cannot wipe them out, man. I told you their hitting has been good. Just the pitching. It's not like we haven't comp uh, been competing with them in regards to the uh, batting today. We're twelve ten in regards to the hits. We are twelve ten in regards to the hits. And that's going to be hit through. Oh, no. Damn it, he's out. All right. So, uh, unfortunately, Wisdom won't get on there. But going into the bottom of the eighth here, guys. Going into the bottom of the eighth. It will be it's nine to six here with the bottom of the eighth and the top of the ninth to come. Let's go and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here, guys. We're going to be streaming every single day. And uh, at least the Cubs do get that run back there. So, it is just a three run. Bit of bomb, bomb, bang. Bit of bang, bang, boom. Hopefully in that top of the ninth. We just don't want to let them get another insurance run here. Because if we didn't let them get that solo home run of CJ Cron there, it would only be a two-run game and we'd absolutely be in this. But unfortunately, we did let that, that, uh, that run go through. So it's all right. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time here. When I say plenty of time, I mean one inning is plenty of time. We are only down by three and we know how to hit today. However, we do have Nico Horner starting up here. I wouldn't be surprised if they pinch hit here. Uh, or even for Rafael Ortega, who is a 0 for 3 today with an error to get him on base. He's hitting 118 average this year. Uh, obviously, this is the bottom of the eighth now, so the Rockies will be batting. But I'm just thinking about for when the top of the ninth does come around. Okay, big chance here, baby. Let's get it going. Let's get some positivity around here for the Cubbies. Here we come. Only down by the three right now. <sighs> Jeez, after those NRL games today, I'm dead set going straight to sleep. Dead set. I will be going straight to sleep. After those two NRL games late on today, because that's an early start for me tomorrow at 5 a.m. for the Cubs game. Well, I'll set up the stream and then I'll get it going. All right, so who comes up here for the Rockies? It's going to be, I think, Sam Hilliard, maybe? Or uh, Sam Hilliard and then Alan... Oh, sorry, it might be actually Nunez. It might be Nunez. I don't know what's going on here with the coverage. Oh, they went a little bit early there, so that's why they were just staring and waiting for it to go. Uh, but I think Nunez might be coming up here for the Rockies. But you, actually, where is my hat? We need to get the Cubs hat out here and we need to get it ready to rock and roll for that top of the ninth where we're going to get a bit of a uh, rally going. I've got it here. It's ready to rock and roll. I'm not going to put it out there just yet. It's not, I'm not putting it on just yet, but we do have it out there because we will be chucking that little bad boy on. 
and getting ready for that time of the ninth. Here we go. Here we go. So Rowan Wick, this season, two games, innings 1.2 with an ERA of 5.40. Opponent home runs of zero, strikeout percentage of 11.1. And first pitch is going to be hit up to the right fielder. Surely we get that. Surely we get that. No, it's going to be a foul. Unfortunately, couldn't get anywhere close to that one. Suzuki, it's not his fault, though. So it was Treo. It's Treo and then Nunes. Treo, then Nunes, and then Joe. That is the lineup here for the Rockies late on in this game. I love three quick outs here. Love three quick outs. So on one count, Trey, two for three today. He's had a good game today. Two for three and a walk. No, sorry, that's the walk I'm looking at is Nunez. Two, he's two for three uh, with a run and two RBIs. And that's going to be a ball. He does check his swing on that one. So he's got a 429 batting average this year, though. That is very solid with a home run, five RBIs, and a 1.286 OPS. Their batting has not been a problem at all, the Rockies. This series has shown their batting is really quality. And that's going to be swing and a miss. That bat there, right there, was not quality, though. So that'll be a big swing and a big miss. One and two count. I'm actually super surprised with how well these Cubs streams have been doing, guys. Like, I really do appreciate you. Uh, like, I know that... Um, it's a brand new channel and whatnot, but you guys have been super, super good. So I appreciate you tuning in. And that's going to be Cubs here, third base, over to the first. Bang, baby. Boom. One out. Come on. Two more to go. Two more to go, and then we're going to have to bring it into our own and just get a nice little three-run home run and tie it up at 9-9. I was expecting a lot less viewers than what we've been having, but uh, you guys have been really great in regards to getting out to watch these streams. So Nunez here, he's over one today with a walk, but he's got an RBI. Sorry? So he doesn't have a hit, but he's got an RBI and a walk. We didn't walk the bases loaded, though. So am I missing something here? How did he get an RBI? What am I missing here? What am I missing? How did Nunez get an RBI without, the, without getting... It was not bases loaded walk. So that's going to be a on one count here. Rowan Wick has come in and he's, uh, he's dicing it up. Our bullpen's been good this season, so not surprised. Dom Nunez over one with a walk. And that's going to be a strike Runo. So we'll be 0 and 2 now. I'm feeling a win tomorrow. Even if we don't get a win today, I'm feeling a win tomorrow. I think that our hitting deserves a win tomorrow. I think our hitting deserves a win tomorrow. I think our hitting deserved a win today, and our hitting deserved a win yesterday, but our pitching didn't. But I think that we've got a good pitcher at the mound tomorrow in Smealy. So I'm, I'm, I'm back in a nice little dub tomorrow. So one, two count here, swing and a miss. Bang! So I'll be two out now for the Rockies. Two out for the Rockies. Baseball Boy says, hi, I am back. Welcome back, champion. Rockies looking all right here for a win, but pitching still looking a bit dodgy. Giving up 12 hits for six runs. Whilst the Rockies have 10 hits for nine runs, they've been more clinical with it. Uh, you know, the Rockies looking all right, but in the same sense as their batting, their pitching still needs a lot of work here, in my opinion, the old uh, Colorado Rockies. <clears throat> so Connor Joe now comes up. He might be the final batter unless the Cubs can rally. And it's going to be strike. Wow, he's going to close the ball. That was definitely inside the zone there. Definitely inside the zone. Triple walk, RBI, and a run here today for Contro. One for three this season with 323 as a batting average. That is absolutely a strike there, but he's called that as a ball, so one and no count. Rowan Wick just looks like a machine. And he's going to throw a ball. So it'll be a two and no count here. That's unfortunate. It shouldn't be a two and no count. It should be a one and one count right now. Give us a go here, Rowan Wick. Slap him down. Punch him out. Punch him out. And that's going to be too high. Three no count. Connor Joe looks like he's going to get on here. Charlie Blackman will come out. I don't like that. I don't like he can get two insurance runs off a home run there. If we keep this down and we don't give up a run here, then we have a still got a chance in this game. But if they get another run to make it a, 
a 10-6 ball game or even an 11-6 ball game, we are, we're we done. So we need Rowan Wick to, to get him out here. We can't have any more runs being given up. That's a strike. So that will be 3-1 and one count. That's pretty much in the same area as the last one he calls the ball. So surprised it's not 2-2 two and two right now. But cool story, bro. The coolest of stories, Barra. 3-1 now. And that's going to be swing. And that's going to be a hit for Conjo. It'll be a double too. Oh, maybe not. Might be just a single here. It might be just a single. He's going to go over the double. He will get the double. Uh, Blue Mr. Cruz is coming to Cubbies. Coming to Cubbies. But we will let the man get on there. Two outs. And he will get to second. And now we've got Charlie Blackman coming up. So I, don't, I really can't. Uh, we can't be giving up another run here. We just can't be. We just can't be. But come on the Cubbies, Mr. Blue. Blue, Blue Mr. Cruz, you are absolutely spot on. Get around the Cubbies. But nerve-wracking times, sir. Nerve-wracking times. So Charlie Blackman now. Do not let a base hit. Please just get him out. He's not been good in this series at all. Oh, he's got two hits today, actually. I didn't even realize that. He's been okay today. Uh, but throughout the series so far, the three games we've had, he's not been fantastic. Today he's finally been the one that he's doing, I guess, something. But we all know what Charlie Blackman can produce. That's why I'm like, I'm a bit nervous right now. Blackman coming to the plate. Any run here, and we're probably done here, the Cubs. That's a strike one, baby. Whoop, whoop. Oh, one count now. Blackman two for three today. Two singles of walking an RBI. He's hitting 207 batting average this year. Zero home runs, three RBIs, and 557 OPS. But before today, he was at 140. So today's really helped his batting average there. But it is early in the season, so you don't really take too, too much account into that. And that's another swing. That's going to be a foul. So 0-2 count. Come on, punch him out. And then we're only down by three going into the top of the ninth. We have been able to hit. We've got four runs in the seventh. We had one run in the third, and we had one run in the eighth. So, uh, Mathos. Uh, Matheus. Mathos, I'm sorry if I, I butchered your name, bro, but I appreciate you tuning in. Says, hello, my friend. Hello, champion. How you going? Who do you go for, Mathos? Who do you go for? So on one count here for... Sorry. Ah, uh, should be on two count here for Charlie Blackman. It should say 0 and 2 count, but it says 0 and 1 count there. And now it's going to say 1 and 1 count, but it should be a 1 and 2 count. Unless I'm skitzing. Okay, it must be... I must have missed it. It must have just been... That was just must have been the first pitch, and my brain just didn't collect that that was the, that was the first pitch. Two out, bottom of the eighth. Man on second. We just need to get him out right now. Please get him out. Please just get him out right now. And it's going to be swing and a miss. Boom! I was right. It was two outs. It was one and two. No, I was right. You're Muppets. So I was correct, Mondas. That will be the end of the eight there, guys. The Cubs still in this game. Down by three. Lead 12-11 in hits, but down 9-6 in regards to the run. So let's go and hit that thumbs up button, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. We smack it out every single day, so do get around it. But uh, we go into the bottom of the ninth, uh, the top of the ninth here, and the Cubs need to get three runs just to tie it up and send it to extra innings. If they get four runs, they take the lead. Daniel Murphy says, as a fellow Chicagoan near Midway, I hope we get it tonight. Uh, appreciate you, dude. Obviously, I'm in Australia. I'm Gold Coast Australia, but I am a massive Cubbies fan. Um, good to see that you're watching all the way over there in Chicago. But yeah, I do hope we get it tonight. I do give us a good chance and a, a big belief of winning tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow, obviously. Um, I give it a huge opportunity of winning tomorrow, especially with Smiley, uh, Smiley at the uh, at the mound. Um, we'll be going up against... Uh, I can't, uh, Gambon, I can't remember. Uh, but point of the matter is, is that I think that we're going to have a good chance tomorrow uh, with a, a really good pitcher. So uh, whether we win or lose today, we've given it a good go. We've shown that our bats are good. Our first game, our bats were good. Our second game, our bats were good. We just couldn't put the, the runs in. And this game here today, our bats have been better than the Rockies, but we just haven't been able to put them in. So we haven't been better, I guess. But our the amount of hits we're getting, we're getting more, just not as clinical is what I'll say. Uh, Matt Earl says, do you think Chicago is still able to win? Absolutely. I do believe Chicago can still win. Absolutely. We're only down by three. We hit four runs in the seventh. Uh, we have, uh, I think, I don't know if they're going to pinch hit, but we do have the end of our lineup here in uh, Nico Horner to come up, hopefully gets a base hit. And then we have Rafael Ortega to come up. Uh, and then in the hole will be Jonathan Villar. But it depends on if we're going to pinch hit one of these first two guys in Nico or Ortega. Not sure. Daniel Murphy says, got dumb bets going. I think we definitely can get there. We can get there. I wouldn't hold too much. I wouldn't guarantee anything, though, obviously. You know, we have hit well, but we just need to put the runners in. That's what we need to do. We need to put the runners in. Uh, CJ Cron has killed us tonight. He's got, he had a two-run home run and a solo home run. He is literally the difference between the two teams right now, CJ Cron. That last two-run home run was a 466-footer. 
And the solo home run was a 423 footer. We have hit two. Uh, we have hit two. Um, we've crushed two balls today that haven't hit home runs that hit around the 420 mark. But that went center field, which is the unfortunate part. But he, we did crush it twice. It didn't go for homers. Uh, Mathal says, don't say that, bro, because I bet on the Colorado Rockies. Well, they definitely can still come back, the Cubbies. I don't necessarily believe it will happen, but they definitely still can, man. They've hit, been hitting well, man. They're 12-11 up in hits. They just haven't been able to be clinical as like the clinical like the Rockies have. The Rockies have hit a three-run home run today, a two-run home run, and also a solo home run. That's where they've got us. All right, so top of the ninth here. And it's going to be Daniel Bard pitching for the Rockies. 4.50 ERA. And Nico Horner is here. And that's going to be strike one. Love how you call that a strike, but you didn't call it a strike when we were throwing it in that area. So 0-1 count now. Nico Horner with a 1-3 today. 0-1 count. Daniel Bard this season, four games, four innings, 4.50 ERA. Come on, man. Come on, Nico. Swing foul. We just want a sneaky. Give us an opportunity. Give us an opportunity, please. We just want one little sneaky, sneaky. Give us a sniff. Give us a sniff. Oh, where's the rally cap? Hey, hey, hey. Hold on one second. I didn't even put my rally cap on. How dare you guys not remind me? How dare you guys not remind me? All right, so we're just waiting here for this pitch, and then I'll chuck it on. I want to count now, and that's going to be a bull. It did. It nearly worked for us yesterday. It didn't, but we got close. We did get close yesterday. So there we go. The rally cap is on, guys. Mathel says, where are you from? It's kind of hard. Oh, it's going to be a damn it. He gets ground out first. So one out there is Nego Horner. I'm from the Gold Coast in Australia, mate. I'm from the Gold Coast in Australia. Love my baseball. But uh, you have an accent, not me. How about that? How about that? So one out, and Rafael Ortega will come up now. Hitting 118 so far this season. Three at-bats. Had an error as well. But we will be back in the morning. Hopefully uh, tomorrow we get a... Uh, hopefully tomorrow a bit more clinical. But I do want to make sure you guys right now hit that big old red subscribe button. It is free. You may as well just do it. And that's going to be strike one for Rafael Ortega. Please. Please, please, please. We have the rally cap on. It has to happen. We have to get a rally going here. We have to get a rally going here. Get the rally cap. The rally cap is is successful, uh, except for this time. There'll be two out, unfortunately. Don't see the cubbies coming through here, guys. We've got one more out remaining. We need to get a blop, a blop, and a boom. But we have no blops yet. Ba -ba boom. That's what we need. But it's very, very hard to be getting that right now with two outs already. And it will be uh, Villa who comes up now. Now, Contreras and Happ is after that, though. So they've not had good games at all. They're 0 for 4, both of them. But uh, Contreras, uh, sorry, but Villa has had a very good game here with three hits, three RBIs. Uh, Mattel says, nice, bro. I live uh, in DC. In excess, men at work. Good stuff, bro. Well, we're here every single day, man. So I hope you stick around. But two out right now. Villar comes up. He's 3-4 today. Swings up in the air. And that's going to be a hit. Beautiful. Okay. Rally, 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 baby. Villar. How good is Villar? Villar is unbelievable. He's 8 from 12 in his last at-bats. He's 8 from his last 12 at-bats. He's played unbelievable. That's a single there. So that's a brap. That's a brap. We need one more brap and then a boom. We need one more brap and then a boom. And Contreras comes up now. He's 0 from 4. So Villar with a 3 from 4 game. Contreras with an 0 from 4 game. No, sorry. Uh, Villa with a 4 from 5 game with 3 RBIs. And Contreras with an 0 from 4. But here he comes. Contreras is a good batter. Usually. He had a very good game yesterday, just not today. It's not been a good game here for Wilson Contreras. But hopefully he can make it up right now. And then Ian Happ can go slap. And swing. Oh, jeez. That was incredibly close to being down the line there. Which probably would have scored Villa. Because he was off. He was off. So Contreras at bat on deck, Ian Happ in the hole, Frankie Schwindel. If we get Contreras on and Happ on, that'd be wild, especially with two outs as well. 
So you a Nationals fan then, Mattels? 0-1 count, and that's a strike. Contreras, what are you doing, bro? You got to be watching, man. Uh, so Villar is on second base now. He stole second. I don't really know why. Fourth career, four-hit game. I don't really know if Villar just stole, why he stole second, but he did. He stole second regardless, so there you go. All right, so uh, so if we get a base hit here, at least we'll bring it back within two, and then uh, you know we'll see how we go, but... Uh, last strike here, swing and a miss, gone. All right, guys, that's unfortunately going to finish us up here for the Cubbies today. Uh, we do not get the win, uh, but we did have quite a few hits. We had 13 hits to 11, just unfortunately we weren't able to, um, to, to be clinical enough with those. Uh, but I do appreciate you, as usual, obviously hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and you. I'll see you guys tomorrow for game four of the series. That'll be an early one though. That'll be mid, uh, the one o'clock game for you guys in America. Uh, it'll be a very early game for me. So I appreciate you. Unfortunately, Cubbies couldn't get the job done here today, but positive signs, negative signs, a lot of positives. Also a lot of negatives, but um, tomorrow we've got Smiley at the mound, and uh, let's get it, baby. Let's get it for the last of the four-game series in Colorado. All right, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.